Coming to you in five, four, three, two. Welcome, everybody, to the Hot Takes Central, where we're serving up hot, relevant takes like a recycled slice of Chuck E. Cheese pizza. <laughs> With me today is the beautiful and courageous. Courageous. Ela Klein. Round of applause. How are you today, Ela? God Good. bless you. This is the one hour that I'm not tired yes. of the day. We had to step it up. We had to do it earlier because 3 o'clock, let's be honest, folks, it's the worst time to do a podcast. All I want to do at 3 o'clock is lay down and die. <laughs> like, literally, I'm that <laughs> energyless. But as you can tell right now, it is, uh, as we are recording this, 10.50 a.m., we went live a little bit early, and I am like a rocket ship. I've got energy. Coming out of all of my orifices. Now, let me ask you this since I'm buzzing, Ela. I'm fresh. Do you, ever, do you ever put down your pants to fart so the fart doesn't go through your underwear or your pants? No. You don't do that? You talk about your fart like it's liquid or something. No, but sometimes it's so dank, like in a bad way. <laughs> like, I mean dank in the classical sense. Like, they say it's like a moist no. dungeness. I can't, <clears throat> cannot sometimes, relate. Sometimes my farts are so nasty, I take down my pants and I fart outside. Because also, well, that's for your benefit because you complain that they're so bad, you actually get angry at me like, oh, I like I have control over how dank my I farts are. I was getting angry. Okay, so I go to the bathroom to <laughs> fart, but I don't want to crop dust, so I put my pants down. I let the f gas go oh. untethered by... Um, okay, as long as you do it in the bathroom. Well, I, yeah. And so I don't want to bring the scent back with me because you're. You, it was so toxic <clears throat> though that no matter where you did it, it still came back with. You get a little whiff of it. That's no matter the, what. the vegan farts that I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, the vegan farts were so brutal. Um, it became a problem. <laughs> like yeah, it was brick, it was damaging our relationship. <laughs> Eli actually like started. I would wake up in the middle of the night from the stink mm -hmm. of a fart. It's kind of satisfying, though, to have such no. early farts. No. It's kind of, it feels like an achievement. Like <laughs> No. Uh, but I think Ela started sneaking <laughs> in meat into my food at one point, just to like, <laughs> like end the madness. You gotta end this madness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, at first, the farts were so foreign to me, they, I didn't even enjoy the smell of it. Like, at first, I was like, dude, that's someone else's farts, and I can't enjoy it. And not only that, so at some point, it you smelled like enjoy yeah, it? I got used to it. But it smelled like a sulfur mine in like Indonesia, where people like die <laughs> of, of yeah. Oh, no, oh. it was horrible. Yeah. Like actually, the worst smell. It literally smelled like you know when you're a kid and you would buy stink bombs. Yeah. It smelled like a stink bomb. When you smell a stink bomb, you're like, oh, that's. It smells awful, but that's way worse than any fart I've ever and smelled. And it's not like once a day or twice. <laughs> It's nope. like every five minutes. Yeah, LA. Exactly. LA City had the valve open. Except they were quiet and deadly. Yes. <laughs> I got to tell you though, the smell grew on me. No. Because in a in a sense, the stinkier your fart, the more. Um, the more lonely you're gonna be. No, no, there. It, people know what I'm talking. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. When you. No, I but, disagree with this whole. Hila, Thing. Stop. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> um, when you lay down your own nasty fart, and we'll move off this topic soon enough. Did you say thank you to the sponsor? No, God, I didn't okay. even mention that. <laughs> you see, I'm buzzing here. I'm, I'm buzzing here. Thank you to Robin Hood, Hems, and Mint Mobile, <laughs> with whom... I, without their help, I wouldn't be eating my super healthy, <laughs> vegan, toxic diet. No, thank you. I'm going to say them twice because I forgot. <laughs> Robin Hood, Hymns, and Mint Mobile. Thank, thank you. you. Now, as I was saying. Um, but I got to tell people that my mom was here for two weeks. She came to visit. So mm -hmm. I told my mom makes like the best food mm -hmm. on the planet. So... I told Ethan, you gotta eat her food while she's here. It's mm -hmm. like, you only get that once a year. Yeah, and I don't want to so, be, like, weird about it. So I'm Ethan sure. broke the vegan diet, mm -hmm. which was approved by everyone. Yeah. But the farts are left. They're gone. Yeah, they're gone. There's no farts. 
Yeah. I was <laughs> I honestly was so fascinated by it. you would think that when you stop consuming dairy and meat that like everything would clean up. Yeah. But for me I had the opposite effect. <laughs> like my body went into turmoil. I mean my my poops were like uh they were like diarrhea that was blended up with <laughs> explosive. <laughs> like diarrhea wasn't enough. It was like uh it was like nin fruit ninja. What do you call those blenders? The, oh yeah. The ninja bullet or the whatever. The bullet? Yeah. It's like poop in a bullet. <laughs> Fuck, it's so gnarly. It's the gnarliest. I mean, guys, I hate to talk about this, but it's my show, okay? I told you I had hot takes. You just didn't know where they were this hot. <laughs> Ever pulled your pants down to fart, Dan or Zach? Uh, I mean, not on the regular, but... Yeah, not on the reg. <laughs> yeah, I but, mean, maybe after, like, a long weekend of drinking or something. Right. You, you gotta take extra precaution. <laughs> Now, was that because to avoid the smell or because you were afraid you're going to shit your pants? Both. <laughs> now, Dan, I have to contest that because I would feel that pulling down your pants to avoid shitting your pants means you would shit on the floor or whatever. <laughs> well, I, I go into a safe zone. Okay. <laughs> you know. So basically, that sounds like you're sharding. <laughs> Sounds like you're just blowing explosive diarrhea somewhere. I said it was just a precaution. Yeah. It, didn't, it didn't actually happen, but, you, you know, did you that risk. Has it ever, have you ever pulled down your pants and squirted out a little poop? Not, <laughs> not that I can recall, but um, I suppose it may have happened. Hmm. It may have happened. Fascinating. The, the drunker you are, the more likely it is to happen, but the less likely you are to remember, so. Okay, so very diplomatic answer. Yeah. <laughs> So, guys, happy Valentine's Day, speaking of diarrhea. <laughs> Valentine's Day was yesterday, and uh, poor Kenny G, you guys probably saw this was in the news. <laughs> Kenny G is rumored to still be in Kanye's living room to this day. <laughs> um, he was hired by Kim Kardashian. Or, no, I have that backwards. by Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be funny. <laughs> hey, baby, Kenny G. Uh, uh, Kanye hired Kenny G. <laughs> to perform for Kim Kardashian. And here we have the video. This was huge news, huge, huge news. Dan, well, I don't know why nothing still, works yeah, here. It's been like that last time. Yeah, it's so strange. Oh, it's making me, are you gotta log in to watch videos? But you suck my mother uh -uh. effing p little pecker. What do I do about this? Maybe I'll try going incognito. Like, I'm, like, I'm kind of already incognito. <laughs> Um, this is this is a puzzler. Yeah. Let's see if this works. Da da da. We works. Mm. Oh, incognito shit. people. Such a hacker. Uh, yeah. If you need any IT help, <laughs> call your boy. <laughs> Guys, here's IT tips for me. Too. Incognito or restart fixes ninety nine percent of all problems. <laughs> YouTube's gonna be like, oh, sorry, uh, did I hear an echoey, uh, <laughs> did I hear an echoey jazz song? <laughs> Sony Music's like, oh, excuse me, echoey jazz, uh, anything? Did I hear a note? Did I hear one music note? <laughs> and then Paramount's like, oh, excuse me, Sony, did I hear a music note? <laughs> Everyone's fighting over it, like, fucking, by the way, I listen to radio, they play songs all the time, and if you play one little, they play songs, that doesn't mean that you get to own their whole show. No, it's insane. Sony's be like, uh, I'm so, was that an E sharp? Yeah, but <laughs> I own that now. Yeah, Kenny G had an E sharp in uh, his 1932 <laughs> track, uh, E sharp. Yeah, that's mine now. That's my property now. Thank you. Talk to my lawyers. I'm Sony. Eat my unwashed asshole. Sincerely, Sony lawyers. Anyway, Kenny G is playing music. You know, this copyright nonsense is making this, everything so much more yeah. annoying on YouTube. And every time we finish the episode, we go back and then we're like, oh, we got claimed by... Oh, yeah, our last step got claimed. What was it for? A movie trailer. Oh, yeah, a movie trailer from, for, from Tiptoes, from fucking, like, <laughs> 2000. <laughs> Sony's <laughs> like, um... <laughs> we gotta collect every dollar that we can off of this movie. Sony's like... <laughs> Do I smell a trailer from 2003? <laughs> we own you. 
Do I smell Kenny G? Did Kenny G just pull down his pants and rip a fat one? I We own that sound. It's getting so ridiculous. And I'll tell you what, what's happening. It's not necessarily YouTube's fault. There's all these predatory people mm-hmm. who have built their own algorithms to detect music. It's like a whole business. So here's what happens. You have one mother-loving piece of ass pube who he goes he makes an algorithm that detects music okay independent of YouTube's and then he'll approach all these huge companies and say hey listen uh, I'm gonna rev share with you 50% all you have to do is give me permission to claim your shit Mm -hmm. and they're like that sounds great that's a win-win proposition we're already not claiming it and he says he's gonna pay us like a million dollars a year that's awesome what, so they have no oversight, and nor do they care because the the motivation behind this this company that's claiming all this shit is just to eat up as much revenue as possible. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So there's no. Well, I guess the problem on YouTube side is that there's no motivation. There's no incentive like, to. They don't get punished for wrongly claiming something. So apparently, according to the people I've spoke to, that's not true. They do get punished? Apparently, they say that. But what's rampant right now is Ela's giving me a really sly smirk. (laughs) I don't buy it. I don't know if you saw that, but she was like, I don't (laughs) buy that shit. Um, You're on the wrong street, cuz. That's true. (laughs) Um, But, well, be that as it may, whether they're punishing or not, what's so rampant is this. Um, the nuance, the gray space of being like, oh, that was one second of Kenny G's. Mm. So now we own your two hour podcast. Yeah, that, that is crazy. It's the nuance. It's the um, the problem is that I think the law has such a wide gap that it allows that. And the technology is caught up. There's no motivation. It's just it's gotten it's so out of control. There's there's no incentive for these companies not to do it. Mm-hmm. There's no rules to enforce the opposite. The law is fuzzy. It's just a feeding ground and for then, these like, companies. There's probably so many videos who get claimed and the creators don't even notice because it's just like mm-hmm. you don't really get like a big notification about it. Mm. So they probably make so much money off of the ones that go unnoticed too. That's when I get got a lot. But I think the biggest issue that I've run into talking to other creators is people who don't understand the process and are afraid to dispute it because it yeah. seems so scary. It sounds scary, like yeah. you're going to get sued if you dispute. Or striked, or your mm-hmm. video going to be erased. So, <clears throat> you know, it's it's bad. It's so bad. You know? But I again, is you got to acknowledge the opposite, that on Instagram... And Facebook, there is no oversight. Yeah. People just, it's way so far yeah. to the other side. Then you end up with SoFlo. Yeah, exactly. SoFlo and Fuck Jerry and Fat Jew. By the way. Fat Jew? F- there's a guy named Fat Jew that does like <laughs> Fuck Jerry. Can you all get like real names? I have a conspiracy theory that these idiots, Fat Jew and Fuck Jerry, I can't even mention them without my video being removed. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, anti Semitic. Fat Jew. <laughs> Can't mention him. <laughs> fuck Jerry. Try talk, making a video about Fuck Jerry, putting them in the title. Can't do it. If I make a new channel, I'll call it, uh, I'll call it, uh, Hitler, I don't know. <laughs> you could do that. I'll call it, um, Nazi Ethan. Big Jewish, big fat Jewy cunt. <laughs> Did you guys hear what Big Fat Jewy Cunt did? YouTube's like, what? <laughs> no, we didn't. And nobody will. Um, fat Jew. It's like, sorry? <laughs> you don't get to call yourself that. I don't care if you are fat and Jewish. <laughs> fat Jew? Sorry? <laughs> oh, I'm so, uh, I'm so zany. <laughs> I'm so uh, I'm so off so the wait, wall. What is that? That's a Facebook He's just fuck Jerry. He just steals shit. It's Instagram. Really? Yeah. Instagram is turned into the new uh, Facebook, where it's just like, that's mine now, and I'm gonna mm-hmm. monetize it. Fuck Jerry. I've been doing a lot of research on these guys, man. These guys are cold blooded, f- 
so f- these guys are so flow with suits. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Wow. Well, they're like so flow, but um, S- smarter. Somehow they like walk around like entrepreneurs. They're smart. They're so flow. There's they have no moral compass, and they saw a weak spot. But they're smarter. Not much. I mean, not, not by not, a lot. He's not that smart, but he's smarter. <laughs> like so flow. Um, <laughs> He would not beat this guy in chess, most likely. Wow, Soflo doesn't think so. Yeah. He's been playing checkers. Yeah, he's been playing checkers. <laughs> Somebody's playing checkers. I think Soflo is playing checkers in this case. Be that as it may, they always, I, I've just read this article, they own, Fuck Jerry owns this um, tequila company, Yaya. Really? Which means ha ha. In. Mm. Spanish and None of these guys are Hispanic <laughs> None of them are have anything to do with alcohol or distillery or anything Everything you do is so trashy and tasteless and annoying and you'll notice when you go to fuck Jerry. They're always tagging Yaya huh. He's always wearing hats. I thought it was a sponsor and shit um, No, he owns this company didn't Soflo do something just like that too? He was like drop shipping bras or something. Yeah, he mentions. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know, dude. Soflo is so deep into scams that I can't even follow. He's like, yeah, I bring in bras from China and sell them on Facebook ads. I make a million dollars a second. I was like, what, <laughs> bro? I don't know what the fuck Soflo's up to. Wow, he's, he's driving around with helicopters with ugly girls. <laughs> you know, that guy's on another planet. He was doing that as a kindness, remember? Yeah, yeah that it's was the a... nicest thing he's ever done. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Sofla, what's the nicest thing you've ever done? <laughs> well, I flew around an ugly girl on a helicopter once. <laughs> that was a very... And everyone was like, bro, why are you even looking at that girl? Why you... Everyone was like, why are you spending time with an ugly girl, bro? <laughs> He's like, it's like make a wish. Make an ugly girl <laughs> wish come true. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about Kenny G, but I just got <laughs> so fired up. So I can't help when I see this uh, scene with Kenny G. Mm-hmm. I just think of Curb when um, <coughs> Larry got this for Cheryl. Mm-hmm. You think he nicked his idea? No, but it's just so funny. I feel like, okay, I have a lot of thoughts about this. So, first of all, Kenny G's, do people listen to Kenny G? I, he's like the weirdest, corniest music I've ever heard in my life. I love Kenny G. Do you? Mm-hmm. You would. You're like a music connoisseur. <laughs> but he's just, I mean, he's a dude with a flute. Hmm. Not a flute, but. I'm not familiar. What does he play? What is that instrument, Zach? It's like a, it's a saxophone. It's a saxophone. <laughs> it's a soprano sax. Huh? The fuck do you guys know? When, when do you guys become scholars? <laughs> He kind of looks like Howard Stern. <laughs> yeah, in the darkness. But I, f- I imagine he was lowered into that room on like wires, like Mission Impossible. <laughs> and he's still standing there to this day. Or they're like, okay, you stand here, and now we're going to build all these flowers around you for like an hour. You can't move. <laughs> do you think they did that, or do you think he tiptoed? I don't think he could tiptoe without knocking that shit over. So they must have built it around him. To tell you the truth, what I really think... Yeah. Probably not that funny. I think they just left the trail. Uh, and um, left it, once yeah. you walked in, they closed it, you know, for the video. That's brilliant. <laughs> That's really smart. That's probably what they did do. And you can see there's not that much space between him and the back door. He's yeah. much further away from the camera than he is the back door. So, but be that as it may, um, I likely think he was suspended by cable. <laughs> and lowered. Yeah. <laughs> I choose to believe that. <laughs> That's far funnier. So. He's while Just playing the that. saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like a little flower himself, isn't he? Like to dip him into a vase, you know what I'm saying? He's like a human Q-tip. He's got a big-ass fucking mop. Like the clean of my... <laughs> what? You know what I'm saying? He's got yeah. great hair. <laughs> like the flute. He's like a little flute himself, you know what I'm saying? Damn. <laughs> I don't know why. People like Kenny G, right? People want to fuck Kenny G. Is that a thing? I'm not familiar, but it sounds like he's a Do you want somewhat to see of a musical legend. He's somewhat of a musical. Oh. He's a sex icon, Kenny G. In fact, I'm surprised you brought him over because if I was Kim Kardashian, I would be like, let's <laughs> just put you in a vase and uh, 
See Kanye later. <laughs> yeah, that's a sex icon. <laughs> Love that hair. Yeah, that hair, I could get lost in that. I gotta find young Kenny G, because that's when he was bold and beautiful. Well, he's still bold and beautiful. Who am I to say? Bald or like bald? Look at this motherfucker. He's not changed his hair in decades. I mean, God bless the man. Dude, look how hot he is. <laughs> and look at that G, too. That G is yeah. so tastefully done. <laughs> you know why they call him Kenny G? Because he's killed five people on the streets where he's from Compton. <laughs> he's an original. Kenny OG, they call him on the streets. You know they call him Kenny G? Because he's got uh, five different families by five different baby mamas. Because he's a gangster. <laughs> so. <laughs> nice. Work with me here. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. He looks so much better with his, like, a uh, stylist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just a dude, sex god. Right? <laughs> Like, there's a stylist. You know what I've been thinking about lately? If all you guys at home who are like, I fucking am ugly, and nobody wants to touch my dick, nobody wants to have anything to do with me, being attractive is so much just about putting in the effort. Mm -hmm. I feel like almost most people, if they dress well and take care of their looks and exercise, could be v extremely fuckable. That's true. You know? Yeah. And... There's a lucky, let's, let's not be, there's a lucky few who are just, like, ridiculously, naturally beautiful. Yeah, but those are almost like... Like you. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I was gonna say, it doesn't always add to the interest factor in them. Like, what you're describing is very true. Like, mm. you could take a very normal looking dude, but if you put in the effort. Look at Kenny G. Look at this fucking nerd. I like to break his glasses. <laughs> this guy, I'll fuck it. I'll fucking, I'll go gay for a night. With <laughs> Kenny OG. Easily. But also, that's not to say that people who aren't naturally beautiful aren't elevated. But it's not even. And, and for you guys, are saying, "Oh, that's not fair. I'm a lazy. I'm lazy." The beauty aspect. It's. It's. It shows that you work, that you care, you know, that mm -hmm. uh, you're focused and dedicated. It mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you're super, it doesn't, it can mean if you take it too far. Mm. But there's a certain, there's a healthy medium, there's a healthy point where you take care of yourself, mm -hmm. you look good, you floss, you go to quip.com slash h3, <laughs> I'm kidding, they didn't sponsor this episode. <laughs> but I'm saying you take care of yourself. And it says w more about you as a person, mm -hmm. and then therefore people want to fist your asshole more than they would. Interesting. Right? Somehow I defied all those advice I just gave you, because I was a mess when I met you. You, you were a mess, but you actually had some style. Oh, shit. You did? <laughs> you were wearing, like, um, cool sweaters when... No one else was. That's what Ela says got her. Is that <laughs> um, wearing a cool sweater? That sweater was cool. It was. I will own that sweater. I bought it from the Gap. What was the sweater? It was a Gap I sweater, but it was like sweaters. Ethan up. had a bunch of sweaters, actually. Right. I have to tell. I was. It, I was, it almost was like dressing like a hipster, but not knowingly. It wasn't like an annoying hipster. Say it. Say what it was. It was before the or... hipsters. <laughs> That's true, though. <laughs> Has my fashion sense... I guess I don't know. Because once I... Uh, you know, uh, I don't... What do you think about how I dress these days? Um, uh, I don't You're my know. stylist, Hila. No, you dress fine. It's. Uh, I think what happened... So you gain weight. That's so and true. And it's harder to dress like... Dude, it's so hard to dress nice when you're yeah. fat or even chubby. It's so <laughs> hard to dress nice when you're chubby. It's just... Try it, to put on a cute sweater when you're fat. It just doesn't work. You look like a marshmallow. <laughs>
You look like a damn fruit roll up. <laughs> but you're doing good. Thanks. No, I'm not saying that you're not. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> what the hell are we doing here? What are we talking about? Dan, how long has it been? Do we need to take a break? <laughs> no, starting? not yet. Okay, all right. <laughs> you let me know. Look at Kenny G. I mean, t- case in point, from this to this, <laughs> just telling you all oh right now. <laughs> just telling you. So, I'm go, just. Go back to that kid picture. I got to see that again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man, look at that mullet. Oh my God. Did you did you think that anyone who knew this kid at this time thought that this guy would be <laughs> superstar? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, there's hope for anyone. The most fucked up, broke looking ass out there. I'm uh, not ass, I mean, but like, you're just broke. You're fucking born with the. You, your DNA got f- fucked up when you came out, when your parents fucked. God was like, this motherfucker's gonna be ugly. <laughs> Even you, dude, if you put in the, and I'm telling you, if you put in the effort, you wash your fucking face, cut your hair, put on a cute sweater, you'll, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Just a little motivation here for you guys on a Friday afternoon. Man, I've been so sick. Ugh. Yeah, my mom arrived sick, and uh, the whole first five days over it, visit here she was just laying on our couch which really sucked but then she got better but then ethan got sick it was like the worst illness i've had in so long i just lost a week of my life basically Mm -hmm. i had like 103.3 fever yeah i was like oh my god this is getting kind of bad it's the kind of sick where you cannot even enjoy that you're sick (laughs) because <laughs> most of the time when you get sick you're like this is nice <laughs> taking it easy watching television yeah. not a care in the world you're so uncomfortable you're so much um you know discomfort that you can't even enjoy the fact that you have nothing to do yeah so i had like 103 plus fever so i went and took a cold shower because you're you're i think i i don't know if this is like the ultimate tip that people don't know or if I just learned it late but when when you have a fever your intuition is to bundle under the blankets because your body heat is so high that you feel cold by comparison mm-hmm. to the air temperature and so that's why when you like get under the blankets and you're under like 10 blankets and you've got like heaters on and you're still cold under there is because your body temperature is so hot mm. that your own body heat can't warm you to a comfortable level so what you're doing is just raising your temp body temperature more and more and more mm. <clears throat> and that's when you can get dangerously feverish so the best thing you can do what i learned when i was in israel the last time i had a fever and got really scared because you want to be like i'm freezing i want to go take a hot shower more than anything but that's the opposite that will make you fucking sick so you go take a cold shower and you lay out under your beds with no blanket or a thin sheet in your underwear. And then your body temperature is able to lower. So I did that and I went from like 103 plus down to like 102. Which was a huge difference because it kept going up and up yeah. and up and I was getting scared. And then from there I just uh, started feeling better. But it took a while. I'm on antibiotics now. Give me 10 for 10 days. I'm like, sucks. 10 days? <laughs> I'm going to forget why I'm taking this in the first place by day 10. <laughs> the wall's going to be built by day 10. <laughs> and I don't think we need antibiotics anymore. Is that what the wall does? It does everything. It does everything. Everything you ever wanted. Um, oh, Logic. Uh, the hip-hop superstar Logic, Bobby Tarantino, is coming next week dan is that at the regular time or is that on thursday it's on thursday thursday yep. could you mind dan throwing up a questions thread when we're finished here or whenever of course did you do you know what time in the day though or not yet i guess i don't know yet i'll have mm-hmm. to Ow. I, I think it's at three i okay. think it's at our uh old normal time okay i'll check with them and see maybe we can finagle it because i really do prefer this time but yeah bobby is a great guy such a sweetheart mm-hmm. um I'm very excited to have him. He's an interesting dude. Yeah. 
He's fans are going to be excited too. They've been asking for it for like a year. Really? That's mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah, I've been seeing that. Well, we were going to have him on today, but actually, he got an invite from M and M to open for him for like thirty thousand people in Hawaii. <laughs> He's like, yo, sorry, I gotta do this. I was like, bro, you fucked me big time. Unbelievable. This How that could you? <laughs> no, that's amazing. That's really exciting. So we'll have plenty to talk about when we have him here next yeah. week. We have covered literally nothing of what I planned. <laughs> but isn't that the point? I'm s- I'm not sticking to the script anymore. This is I Ethan. I didn't even un- get to talk about how I gained like 20 pounds already. I wanted to talk about that too. You want to talk about it? But we can do it after the break. Okay. (laughs) This is Ethan Unchained, is what I was going to say. Okay? I am not sticking to the script anymore. This is who I am. This is who I want to be. I'm here. I'm there. I'm everywhere. Okay? And if you don't like it, then you can file uh, an official complaint at podcast at hrgproductions.com. Your feedback is always welcome. (laughs) <laughs> With that being said, let's throw it to a quick commercial break. We've got everything to talk about. We have not covered nearly, we have not talked, cleared anything. Literally, <laughs> everything's left to talk about. So <laughs> don't go away. Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, cryptos, all commission free. While other brokerages charge up to $10 for every trade, Robinhood doesn't charge any commission free so you could trade stocks and keep all the profits. Plus, there's no account minimum deposit needed to get started, so you can start investing at any level. The simple, intuitive design of Robinhood makes investing easy for newcomers and experts alike. View easy to understand charts and market data and place a trade in just four taps of your smartphone. You can also view stock collections such as 100 Most Popular. With Robinhood, you can learn how to invest in the market as you build your portfolio, discover new stocks, track your favorite companies, and get custom notifications for price movements so you never miss the right moment to invest. Robinhood is giving listeners of the H3 Podcast a free stock. Like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help you build your portfolio of free stock, folks. What do you got to do? Go sign up at h3podcast.robinhood.com for a free stock to build your empire and your legacy. That's They didn't write that in the copy. That was mine. Words. TikTok mother effers, does balding run in your family? Well, I got bad news for you. 66% of men lose their hair by the age of 35. And the thing is, when you notice your hair is gone, is coming out, it's already too late. But here's the good news, guys. It's not all dreary and rain. There's sunshine over there. Because it's easier to keep the hair you have on your head than to replace it once it's, it's gone down the drain. Am I right? I don't know anything about hair loss, unfortunately for myself, but these guys do. It, uh, forhims.com, okay? One stop shop for hair loss, skin care, sexual wellness for men. Here's the deal you don't have to lose your hair, you don't have to be bald. It's optional because we got real doctors, real medical grade solutions to treat the hair loss. Well known generic equivalents to name brand prescriptions will help you keep the dang hair on your head and out of the drain. This is not a snake oil pill. Or a gas station supplement. This is prescriptions backed by science. Okay. These are dudes in white labs who said, hey, how do we keep the hair on this guy's fucking head? It's in this pill. I wonder if it makes your pubes go crazy. Because <laughs> by the same logic, if it keeps the hair in your head, it's got to make your pubes go crazy too. I don't know. I don't take this. I have hair. Unlike you. <laughs> I'm like consulting that. No, you're going to want this. <laughs> Uh, no waiting room, no awkward person doctor visits. Save hours by going to 4 It's so freaking easy. All you do is answer a few quick questions. The doctors will review and prescribe you. The products are shipped directly to your door. You are going to end, guys, we've got a f- great offer. My listeners get a trial month of hymns for just $5 today right now while supplies last. See the website for full details. This will cost you hundreds of dollars if you went to the doctor or pharmacy like a sap. But you're not a sap. That's why you're going to go to forhims.com slash h3, f o r h i m s dot com slash h3, forhims.com slash h3 for five bucks. We're going to keep that beautiful head of hair of yours on your head where it belongs and out of the drain. There's a lot of things in life that aren't right. <laughs> 
carpet and showers, eating dip with your fingers, chunky styled milk, and paying too much for your dang phone bill. That ain't right. But thanks to Mint Mobile, you don't have to overpay for wireless anymore. And let me just say, hallelujah. Okay, they've reimagined the wireless shopping experience and made it easy and online only, which means that they can pass significant savings directly onto you. And for a limited time, they are offering two months free when you buy your first month. That's 20 bucks total for three months of wireless. Not only is this amazing deal here for a limited time, for 20 bucks you get three months of wireless service with eight gigabytes of 4G LTE data each month, plus unlimited nationwide talk and text. That's right, Eli. I didn't stutter. That's 2020. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan. You can keep your old phone number along with all of your existing contacts. They just send you this beautiful little card in the mail. That's a SIM card. All sizes, appropriate. Pop it in there. And Bob is, in fact, your uncle. The DNA uh, results are in. Bob is your uncle. <laughs> Mint Mobile runs on the nation's fastest, most advanced LTE networks. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile's got you covered with their seven-day money-back guarantee. Wow. What do you got to lose except a bunch of money that you're wasting on these other clowns? Take advantage of Mint Mobile's amazing deal before it's gone. Pay just 20 bucks for your first month of wireless and get another two months free by going to mintmobile.com slash h3. That's mintmobile.com slash h3 to get three months of premium wireless service for just $20. Mintmobile.com slash, you guessed it, h3. One. Have you heard this 21 Savage song, um, a lot? <laughs> They're following that 21 Savage song, uh, story. He got arrested by ICE. But I really like that song, dude. How many didn't you got? A lot. It's like the <laughs> sequel to, um... E-40. E-40, yup. Nope. Starving? Nope. Nope. Dinner? Dinner? Yup. Yep. That's gangster. That's more, <laughs> even, that's more G than Kenny G. Afraid of the Dark? Pimps. <laughs> oh, yeah, he goes, he goes, Fred Fred of the, the dark? dark? Nope. nope. <laughs> like, that's gangster. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then he goes, Yoda? Yup. Yep. <laughs> so, so, 21 Savage came out with a sequel to Yup, Nope, called, uh, <laughs> a, uh, a Lot. A Lot. Where he poses questions to himself, and the answer is always. How many money, how much money you got? A oh. lot. Yeah, exactly. Call and response. Just like the folk classics. <laughs> um, how many lawyers you got? A lot. What else is? So I was trying to think, like, what would my version of that song be? You know, <laughs> how many, how much money you got? Some. <laughs> how many bitches you got? One. Sorry, Ela. You call me a bitch. I just—it's the vernacular. Um. How many podcasts you got? One. How many channels you got? Three. I don't yeah. stick to the format. <laughs> yeah. I like to mix it up. <laughs> how many consoles you play? Three. Ah. <laughs> Just Hit me with that vibe. Very realistic. Yeah, very realistic. Hey, hey, hey. Mm. How many shows you got? One. How many bitches you got? One. Zero. Yeah. How big is your dick? Little. <laughs> hey, how many dogs you got? None. Friends, I mean friends. Oh. Yes. How much? <laughs> how big's your bank account? It's doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah. How many? How many viewers you got? How many meals how do many? you eat in a day? Two. <laughs> how many pounds you lost? Four. <laughs> How much you weigh? 210. Wow. That's pretty fat. Are you wow. obese? Yup. <laughs> Do you watch movies? Not that much. Do you like Netflix? It's okay. Do you watch Hulu? It's okay. Do you want cable? Nope. Do you like Dish? Nope. Do you like commercials? Nope. Do you like paying $100 for commercials? Nope. Wow. It's just... Yeah. Yeah. Do you love your wife? Yup. Is she gonna have a baby? Yes. <laughs> I'm forgetting the point of the song. It's yeah, supposed it's to be how many? Yeah, how many? How many babies are you gonna have? One. <laughs> uh, well, maybe more. How many babies are you gonna have? A lot. <laughs> the wrong street, how many crews you work with? Wow. 
One. Yeah. Where's my gra- How many Grammys you won? Not one. <laughs> yeah, Grammy nominated. We bring you Ethan the Killer. How many times you met w- Will Smith? Once. That's fact. right. Yeah. All right. So I keep going with this? Nope. <laughs> How many? Did Will Smith. Oh, we met him in YouTube uh, Creator Summit. Oh, he is a YouTuber. There's, That's there's right. an epic of picture course. of us. It was uh, um, H2H3. Kind of like a lecture. Will not Smith. a lecture, but like a talk that he gave. Wait, I have an epic photo. Hopefully it's on Google, so I don't have to find Will it. Smith have a lot of uh, valuable YouTube advice for you guys? You know what? That was it before was... he was a YouTuber, Here. actually. Oh, <laughs> you see this, Dan? Okay. <laughs> Here's an epic uh, photo we did with him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? YouTube's this shit is so stupid. Like, okay. <laughs> By the way, you can tell how much. Uh, I don't. I don't want to shit talk other creators. You know, I feel like there's enough of that going around. But let me just say this: Tyler Oki's a bitch, and I'm gonna fuck him up. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just like, who can I shit talk the most? He's like, the most, I'm gonna fucking throw down a Tyler Oakley. <laughs> All I was gonna say is, I was gonna make an observation about how people, um, like, tried to get in as close to Will Smith as possible. Let's just say the people at the front of the They picture, tried to get there. They tried. They made an effort to get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like as if Will Smith was Jesus. <laughs> it's like the Last Supper. But Tyler Oakley, uh, Joey Grisif, uh, um bunch of other people. It's weird. I mean, it was you know. Will Smith. Will Smith. He actually. It was nice actually hearing him yeah, talk. I'm not going to say anything bad about him. Um, and on that note. I'm super excited for his role as Genie. <laughs> I think he's going to crush it. I think it's perfect role for him. I think Robin Williams is a small, easy shoes to fill. <laughs> he's a hack. Those shoes are so small. Will Smith is going to be spilling over the shoes. <laughs> They're going to size up. No, he's cool. He's tall as fuck. He was like, He's got like that movie star. You, you know when you meet someone, they like, he's got like a movie star quality where you meet him and he's like tall and like mm. he's so put together and you just feel like an inferior person. And listen, I'm, I'm, I'm saying if you've ever met a person like this, you know what I'm talking about. Don't judge me for saying that. He just is so polished, okay? Mm-hmm. His life is probably a fucking mess. He probably <laughs> hates his family. Okay, the dude's a Scientologist. How's more fucked up can your life get? But like on the surface value, he has this polish. He has an aura, like a princely aura. Is it known that he's a Scientologist? I think that it's. I mean, they're like trying to keep it a secret. I don't. What do I? Yeah, I don't, it, I don't, I don't. it's like highly suspected, but he's not like open about it. But I guess. Uh, He's donated a bunch of money to Scientology oh, and like opened gross. a school yeah. for Scientologists. No, I don't know to who have does their kids do go that. To. Does yeah. Gross. Yeah. That's gross. But uh, again, Dan, when we make claims like this that are not really uh, backed up, I prefer if you could come in and say them instead of me. Can we set that up in some way? <laughs> or I'll push a button and be like, Dan, say it, fill in for me here and say this shit that I don't know if it's true or not. The secret hot take button under your desk. Hot take, Dan. Take, Dan, you take the hot take on this one. <laughs> um, but I've met other people like that. I met people like that at, at who work for Google and YouTube, where they're so put together and so polished. And I'm like, what the fuck do you inject? Like, yeah, baby foreskin for sure. <laughs> Penis facial. Anyway, what the fuck are we doing here? What do we need to talk about today? Um. Is this fun or a mess? Mm. Who cares? I'm having fun. It's all I'm having fun. Oh. So 21 Savage, we <laughs> just kind of skipped over. You know what? It's too serious, but they shouldn't have locked him up. They shouldn't yeah. have done him like that. I think what was messed up is that they, there was, ICE put out a report that said 
that he came when he was uh like 14 or something and that yeah. he had prior convictions that criminal record and then my Sav- savage put out a statement from his attorneys that said he came when he was seven yeah and he has no criminal conviction so that's a huge what, difference in reporting what are you supposed to do when you're seven like you don't even know yeah his mom brought him over when he was seven Okay, he's grew up his whole life here in America. It's all he knows. He's got kids here. His family is here. His life is here. He's born in the UK, but he's never lived there. He doesn't have a life there. I like how people are like, deport him. Yeah. Like people say that about um, about Israel. They say, send him back to Germany. <laughs> uh, I just imagine <laughs> someone getting off a boat and being like, all right, well, here we like. <laughs> All right, what now? Yeah. You know? It's like, dude, you, dude, he lives here. He's fucking, he lives here, dude. What is your, that's just cruel. You want to send it? And also, why did they need to arrest him? Like, it didn't, just, it's it's all paperwork. You can figure it out, but he doesn't need to be in, like, jail with rapists and murderers. Right. I heard they had him on lockdown for 23 hours a day and one hour of, like, free time. And he was out. They didn't even issue him a bond. So they wouldn't even allow him out. Well, I don't think he was in a normal jail. He was in an ICE detention center. So yeah. he was there with other people that had been picked up by ICE. But I guess I think what Ela meant is that the conditions were like as if he was some mm-hmm. kind of violent offender. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't think an ICE detention center is a <coughs> club fed. <coughs> Uh, was there an explosion outside? Did you hear that? Um, ice is coming for me. Sorry, guys. I forgot to tell you. I was born in the UK. <laughs> Bye. Ice is here. Um, but, so, it turns out that, well, now he's out on $100,000 bond because there's, Jay-Z hired, like, every lawyer in America. But I'm sorry. That just seems unnecessarily cruel. Let's forget about his po- politics. Let's forget about his race. Let's forget about anything you know about him. He is just a dude, okay, who came here when he was seven. As a kid, his mom overstayed the visa. He went to public school here. He has a family. He has a job here. His whole life is here. He doesn't. He has no identity with UK. Mm-hmm. And you're just going to arrest him? What was his crime exactly? And ship him back? If that was somebody you knew, if you erased everything you knew about him and that was just like a template person that you knew, I feel like 100% of people would say, that's insane. But that that's just my opinion. Or, I mean, I don't, no, I don't see any other way to see it. I agree. Um, I feel bad for him. I saw him in an interview today and he was like, on Good Morning America, it was the first interview he gave, he was like, I didn't even know what a visa was. I was seven. Yeah. I had no idea how this would imp- impact my life growing up as an adult. I was a ch- I was seven years old when I came here. Mm-hmm. I'm American as far as I know. This is all I know. Also, let's acknowledge that he doesn't have a criminal record, apparently. That's what his attorneys say. And he is a, this, whatever you think about his music or his politics, a highly... Uh, he contributes a lot to society in terms of his tax share. He's a big earner, pays a lot of taxes, I'm sure, you know, mm-hmm. hires a lot of people. So, again, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. The whole thing seemed really crazy. And his lawyer pointed out that it was interesting that they did it like, a week before the Grammys, so he mm-hmm. couldn't go to the Grammys because he was locked up. Mm-hmm. And right after he released a song that had some lyrics criticizing the border mm-hmm. incidents with separating kids from their family. Yeah. His lawyers said that they think it was related. I don't know. Sa- even Pretty Savage said it. Savage said in the interview, he's like, I don't know. I don't know anything. But just, you don't even need to... Uh, mm-hmm. You don't even need to go that far to see how fucked up it is. Yeah. You don't need to make any conjecture. You don't have to make any guesswork. 
With that being said, I was born and uh, where would I be born from, Ela? If not from America, Poland, probably. I'm such a fucking loser. <laughs> Sorry, Polish people. That's just a joke I've heard. I don't know. The Polish. I think I am probably a little Polish. Why do people make fun of the Polish? What the fuck know. did they do? <laughs> the Polacks. <laughs> What's wrong with the Polish people? I have no idea. Hmm. I'm Polish too. Hmm. I knew you were a second class citizen. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's my hot, hot take on 21 Savage. <laughs> Now let's just get to Shane because we're supposed to talk about that. It is the fucking title of this podcast. <laughs> um, it's so hard to title and thumbnail a podcast. You know what I mean? <laughs> what you really want to call it is here we are talking about stuff episode. <laughs> but nobody will click that. <laughs> right? I don't think so. Talking about stuff episode 104. Let's try it next time. No. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um, Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, so Shane did this huge conspiracy series. You guys may have seen it. Now, here's my hot take. We need, like, a hot take uh, sound effect. <laughs> here's Ethan's hot take on Shane's conspiracy documentary. Way too fucking long. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. I cannot make it through those long videos. I heard all the hubbub about the Chuck E. Cheese shit, and now, like, so Shane has this conspiracy theory that Chuck, because the slices are unsymmetrical, and it looks like the pieces have Frankenstein together, yeah. that the theory is that employees scoop up old slices and reuse them in the back. And yeah. so he did this huge investigation, and he forced, because his views, his videos get so many views, Chuck E. Cheese was forced to make a statement, like, our pizza's made fresh, and it's <laughs> delicious. Whatever, you know. Suspicious statement. So I was like, wow, this is pretty funny, so let me check this out. And man, this motherfucker made a two-hour video. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of nice things to say about it, and I don't need to suck Shane's dick, because everyone else is doing that. But this mother fricker is making two-hour-long videos. And 30 million effing, 30 fucking million people watched it. So what the hell do I know? But it's too <laughs> long for me. I'm just being frank. I think he, like, hacked into, like, YouTube algorithm because it's all about watch time now. People are mm -hmm. figuring that out. So they're just letting their videos ride, baby. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like that could, that video could be 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but Shane's just like, let it ride, boy. <laughs> Two hours. And YouTube's like, yup. <laughs> Want 10 minutes? Nope. Want two hours? Yup. <laughs> how many minutes, uh, how many minutes your video got? A lot. <laughs> how many recommended views? A lot. <laughs> <clears throat> so anyway, but I did, f I thumb thumbed through it and watched the Chuck E. Cheese part. I thought it was funny. It was entertaining. It was very, mm -hmm. um, playful. But it, what annoyed me was that he, does not acknowledge the obvious thing that was driving me nuts mm. because he's like driving home the point dude he he did a takedown on Chuck E. Cheese he like full on Vince McMahon Donald Trump you know that gif no. of Donald oh, like yeah. takedown WWF style because yeah. <laughs> he was trying to build an atmosphere where somehow Chuck E. Cheese's corporate policy is to instruct their low-level employees to scoop up used pizza and reuse it. There's no like, way. Yeah, of course. There's there's literally 0% chance. Yeah. Okay, so I have to assume that him and... and Well, I don't know. He never... <coughs> he never acknowledged that it's not really true. And that the obvious answer is that they're making 20 pies a time back there and they just mix and match them. Based on what you order. Mm -hmm. You have like a pepperoni, you have a cheese, and you have a sausage. And people are like, I want half pepperoni, half mm -hmm. sausage. They don't bake a new a new one. They okay. say, I'm going to take half this pepperoni, I'm going to take half this sausage. And they don't fit perfectly together. Huh. Did I crack sense. the code? <laughs> Thank you. Da Vinci code solved. Shane, I'd like to be in your next conspiracy theory. I've never seen um, Chuck E. Cheese or been to one. 
Dude, I can't wait to take our kid there. So those characters, what what is going oh, on? Oh yeah, I was like, dude, I'm like, the real conspiracy is not the pizza. <laughs> the real conspiracy theory is what the fuck is with these mascots? <laughs> How is this kid friendly? Who is in these suits, man? Like these are the original furries, right? Not only so Chuck E. Cheese is kind of a strange place. First of all, you're gambling there. You are. You're they're giving out tickets. Okay. It's like an arcade where you get tickets and you win a bunch of useless crap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's kind of like fundamental, rudimentary gambling. Why and gambling? Because like, you put in coins and then you get tickets you for like play candy with and the shit. Tickets. It's a, it's, I mean, you know, the elements are there. Games of chance. <laughs> okay. Win some candy. Ski ball is not a game of chance. That's a game for champions right there. Well, to be frank with you, Dan, that was a game for the savage because that, those places are so undermanned that even, here's how worthless those tickets are. We would just walk straight up the ramp and put it in the bullseye. Like huh? we, ha- I had a friend there once. We had a birthday party. <laughs> we would sat there for ten minutes, just putting the ball. Like we were sitting on the ramp and just putting the ball <laughs> in the bullseye, and like, it is inhuman to be that skilled. And the amount of tickets we got still didn't get us anything valuable. Really? Yeah. Huh. <clears throat> like the amount of tickets you need to win, like a PS4, you would need to spend like a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> and you want to take our kid there? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fun. I like the atmosphere. <clears throat> but obviously, what's going on with these most <laughs> um, Why are they so creepy? Well, that's a drawing. But here, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. That's a real photo. <laughs> <laughs> like what the hell? <laughs> they had these ro- uh, animatronic robots. That would put on a show for you while you ate your pizza. Oh my god. And do like songs and dances and shit. They changed the mascot. This is the new one. Ugh. It's better than that. Mm. Really? The eyes are so <laughs> dead and soulless and uncanny. You know, the eyes are just yeah. so messed up. <laughs> but <laughs> the like, new one is like just. Look at this, know. Hila. Look how he looks at you. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That's the one that was there when I was a kid. <laughs> Look at this guy. This guy's seen better days. Do kids like this or are they afraid of it? I like, think we loved it as kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Only now. Um, this girl didn't love it. I think that's a... Fo- uh. <laughs> 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 uh, so, at any rate. Um, <laughs> so Shane was building this atmosphere of trying to be like, make it believable that they have a corporate policy of scooping up old slices. And reusing it. So he was showing like clips of like news reports of fights breaking out and kids crying <laughs> and people recording like the ball pit and there was like poop in the ball pit. <laughs> There's a ton of Chuck E. Cheese's. Um, the fights did the dude. There's people fighting in Chuck E. Cheese. I've got clip footage, video evidence. <laughs> from Shane was using clips of people fighting and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> this is so much better than the actual Like dude watch this. I couldn't believe this is like f- captivating. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Look at this. This Some Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> Yeah it's the adults that are behaving badly. What? Several injured people here at Chuck E. Cheese. Is that a yeah, why is he? It's not even Black Friday. In Parma, Ohio, is that pizza sauce or blood? <laughs> they're like, uh, <laughs> like, is that pizza sauce or blood on that? Ah, whatever, just Let get it back, we'll it. reserve it. <laughs> What's the difference? And attacked Chuck E. Cheese's employees. In Miami, what are they all fighting over? As customers slugged it out with each other. So Can you believe women pulling <laughs> hair as the children run for cover? <laughs> Can you in believe? Connecticut, Lamar Wallace. <clears throat> what could? That's a great question. What could you possibly be beefing over at Chuck E. Cheese yeah. to start pulling hair through? So apparently at Chuck E. Cheese they serve beer to the parents. Yeah, I was about to say, and it's like really cheap. So I think that probably has something to do Get with you it. more crazy. It's like a five dollar pitcher or something. So oh wow. Yeah. So beer to the parents, 
pizza to the kids, <laughs> poop in the ball pit. And this place still exists? Oh, yeah. Wow. And somehow Shane went there with two other dudes without a kid and spent the whole day there recording and nobody said anything. <laughs> That's a conspiracy. <laughs> like, how have I never seen this place? Dude, there was one where I grew up. I fucking. My parents suck. I used to look at their <laughs> longingly every time and be like, God, I wish I could go to Chuck E. Cheese, but I'm not even going to bother to ask because my parents fucking suck. So who cares about Papa John's? When you got Chuck E. Cheese. Well, Chuck E. Cheese is like an event. It's like birthday parties and shit. It's like all, you spend the whole day there, you know? Hmm. It's the best freaking day ever. And that's (laughs) kind of dope when the parents are getting blackout drunk. (laughs) It's like the best of both worlds if you're trashy. That's so funny. (laughs) Dude, getting blackout drunk and throwing fists at Chuck E. Cheese. So, obviously, you know, (laughs) I learned a lot about Chuck E. Cheese. Um, I still want to go there. And the pizza looks bomb. I'm just, I'm so, I want pizza, you know. This diet's killing me. I was looking at Chuck E. Cheese and I was like, I, want, I don't give a fuck if they reuse that pizza or not. I'll, I'll eat that. Can we eat pizza tonight? No. Okay. It's good. Thank you, Zach. You gotta wait until we got a kid. <clears throat> how many pizza we got? <laughs> Hila, how much? Silence. How much pizza we got? None. How much pizza we want? <laughs> Some. How much? Sp- how many toppings on that pizza? Three. <laughs> Olives, cheese, pepperonis. Hey, that's three. Getting blackout drunk at my Chuck E. Cheese. Throwing bars and I'm getting ready to brawl. Talk shit on my son and get leveled, son. I'm on that ski ball hitting number one. Yo, son, sit on that ramp. Put the ball in that mouse's mouth. Get a hundred points every time with the ball. Maybe when you're done, you can afford a sour head. Hey, head to Chuck E. Cheese. Get blackout drunk. Yeah. Get that pizza. Get that pizza. All right, kill it. We have fun here, don't we? That was amazing. Uh, <laughs> Here's there are what they said. no places like this in Israel. That is so American. By the yeah, because Israel Chuck sucks, cheese. dude. I know, I know. I, I didn't agree. mean that as a personal thing, but, but I mean, like, I mean, like to glorify America. That it's like so <laughs> funny. Get blackout Such a drunk funny and place. feed your kids pizza. <laughs> Dave and Buster's is kind of the classy version of Chuck E. Cheese, isn't it? Who's that? Yeah, exactly. See, you're out of the loop, baby. We're going to have a kid. You're going to open a whole new world. Dave and Buster's is kind of like, cl- it's classy Chuck E. Cheese. It's just like a cool arcade game. Lots of games and s- activities and food. Right? Am I right, you guys? Back yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Dan. It's more no kids week. allowed. It's like, an, yeah, it's an adult place. Oh, hmm. is there really no kids allowed? Well, I, mean, I could be wrong about that. I'm not a Dave and Buster's expert, I suppose. It's kind of the exact same thing because the appeal is that there's alcohol, but they have that at Chuck E. Cheese too. It really is I the same I didn't know they served pictures at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. It's the only way to get the parents to take the fucking kids. Can you imagine? That's kind of true, huh? They do real cheap too. That's like so brilliant marketing. Like, you can come get blackout drunk, spend the whole day here, but the kid is the one that drains your wallet. <laughs> um, can you imagine if they serve pictures at like Disneyland? <laughs> They're so smart not to serve alcohol there. Yeah. People probably... Eh, can you sneak alcohol into Disney? I guess you could if you were well, really yeah. dedicated. There is Be- a... Isn't there... There is a place to get drinks in Disneyland, though. But I think it's, it's like, just like top one secret. Place. Right, right. The Club 33. Appar- it's top... Apparently, this club is very top secret. <laughs> they That's take it very about, seriously. Uh, Universal. They don't give a fuck. They sell beer all over the place. Yeah, Universal's trash. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of trash. Me and, dude, I'll tell you, can I bitch about Universal for a minute? Me and Ela went there recently, because I felt like doing a theme park, and we bought the VIP bracelet to skip at the head of the line. Mm-hmm. There's more fucking people with the VIP bracelet yep. than general admission. I was at times in the VIP line, and I was like, is this longer than yep. the general admission line? And it wasn't cheap, like... It was twice the price! How is everyone affording this shit? <laughs> we spent like a thousand dollars! And all these little, like, broke-ass families running around with like, VIP With bracelets. like five kids, all VIP. It's like, how the fuck do you guys afford it? <laughs> Go in the general admission line. 
You can't afford this. <laughs> they gotta like triple the price so that rich people can get a better experience. <laughs> Ian uh, just told me that Star Wars Land at Disneyland is gonna have alcohol. Really? So they're they're delving oh, into Ian the alcohol. Watching? Yeah, I guess he's watching. Oh, hi, Ian. <laughs> Hope you're doing okay. He's having a top secret procedure that I'm not allowed to talk about. <laughs> That's all I'll say. He's having a sex change operation. <laughs> he'll, when he returns, he'll be uh, Kim. What's the female version of Ian? Ivanka. Ivanka? Why? Too long. <laughs> Uma? Ian? Okay, whatever. Where were we? Chuck E. Cheese. Universal sucks, but the Harry Potter world is awesome. That's but there's so many fucking people there. Everybody <laughs> wants to be a wizard. <laughs> Everybody wants a wand. <laughs> it's not Hogwarts where there's so many fucking kids running around with wands. Breaks the illusion. <laughs> Hogwarts are for wizards only. Not that many muggles there. And by the way, again... To glorify America, yeah, like in Israel, the the theme parks mm -hmm. are like basically non-existent yeah. compared to the well, stuff you have here. Just to explain it a little bit, there's 300 million people, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they all like have sm some money, yeah. So those like what what's possible in America is almost impossible anywhere else on Earth because there's so many people and so much money. Like a place like Disneyland or Universal. And so much space. Yeah, and there's space. And like, we have it all. We really have it all. This is the best place in the world, <laughs> is it not? I mean, let's be honest about it. Sorry, Poland. <laughs> We're Poland today, man. You can visit. Yeah, I know. We love the Polacks. <laughs> we, lo we love the Polacks. We love it. I kid the Polacks. We love you. Nobody does. What's a pull? Oh, okay. So at at any rate, Harry Potter World is awesome. Um, but we were talking about Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese. Um, Chuck E. Cheese statement. They said a spokesman strongly refuted Shane's claims. <laughs> the claims made in this video about Chuck E. Cheese and our pizza are unequivocally false. The spokesman said, "No conspiracy here theory here." Our pizzas are made to order, and we prepare our dough fresh in restaurant, which means that they are not always perfectly uniform in shape, but always delicious. There's some deception in this statement, because clearly they're not made to order. Mm -hmm. Just say, just explain what I explained. Mm -hmm. That has to be the explanation. Yeah. You have them queued up, and you just shit them out. It's fine. But there's some deception here. Oh, you cannot say, you're just fueling the conspiracy, because when you say, we prepare our dough fresh, that's why it's not perfectly uniform. No, dude. <laughs> Shane literally took out, here, I'll show you guys. He took, he took it so far, <laughs> just to prove that they're from different pizzas, he proved it in like two seconds. Hey, before, it's before so I obvious, mean... but like, he, in his mind, he's proving that the employees scoop it up and reuse it, but it's, yeah, it's that, there's, you can't... zero percent. Zero percent. Let's yeah. just say that. Let's just say that. Let's all agree. That literally does not happen. Shane, if you... It cannot. You, That's insane. Can I make an offer, an open invite to Shane? <laughs> After you present every conspiracy theory, bring me on to give the <laughs> counter-argument. <laughs> Everyone would hate me. I hate you. <laughs> Such a fucking joy kill. <laughs> Anybody in, I want to get like a real overhead shot of this. Oh my god. <laughs> Check the so pizza he, really they're crushed. editing is hilarious. The crust should be puffy, well rounded. So he well <laughs> I mean, it's funny. Yeah. Also, wait, look at the slices, though. I love his reaction. This is it. He's looking at a pizza <laughs> that's a little unsymmetrical. This is insane. <laughs> I gotta say, that one was all pepperoni, dude. I don't see why you would mix and match that one. Because they mixed half mm. already. Mm. They already. Dan, it's not rocket science. 
They had they have got like five pepperoni pizzas in back. What's they, most likely that they these are all leftover slices from other people? There's no way. Dude, there's literally it's just First of all, there's health, there's unannounced health inspections. Yeah. Second of all, you would can never uh, keep you would never be able to keep low level employees. You can't operate a business. You like cannot that. bring low every low level employee in on a fraud. Yeah. <laughs> that violates every health code. Okay. <laughs> Sec like also making pizzas cheap. Why they have no reason to do that on a corporate level. You know what I'm saying? It's not what happens. They have five pepperonis back there. Half of it, this one, went to the half sausage. And then someone's like, well, I want a fucking pepperoni. And then they had two half pepperonis left, and they combined it. It's not rocket science, Dan. (laughs) (laughs) So look at this. By the way, three dudes in a Chuck E. Cheese without kids taking pictures of pizza. That's suspicious. (laughs) Yes, we all, I mean, I, I was like, yes, I agree, but your conclusion is <laughs> is not right. So he goes on and on to prove that so they're from different Does places. he not eat the pizza? I, no, I don't think they ever took bites. I would eat that shit. I would eat, that fucking looks bomb. <laughs> Ela, look at that and tell me you don't want to eat that. That looks good. Thank you! We're getting somewhere. <laughs> Do you want pizza for dinner? No. Okay. What do we do? <laughs> Then he hard's cut into some woman talking about sex trafficking. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Broke the wall on me there. Um, right? That's what that was about, Zach? I didn't watch that part. Uh, yeah. It was like, uh, she's a YouTuber and it's an old friend and this dude, like, they met on, like, Tinder or something and he laid her, uh, his claws into her. As far as, like, wanting to take her and fake birth certificates and shit like that. It's pretty gnarly to mash up Chuck E. Cheese and sex yeah, trafficking. Yeah, quite a transition. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, but the first, here, let me show you the first thing. Because it, it's funny. It's very tongue-in-cheek. <laughs> it just, it, it annoyed me that he never, like, I'm just imagining we, Chuck E. Cheese, they, like, wake up one morning. 30 million views. 30 million people believing that they're yeah. <laughs> serving you as pizza. Yeah. Leftover slices. They're like, what did we do? What do we do except uh, serve five dollar pitchers and get parents blackout drunk? <laughs> um. <clears throat> so I think we all accept the premise. See, he's kind of doing what uh, high IQ people like me would just call a straw man argument. What's that? Is that right? Somebody, don't correct me if I'm wrong. High IQ people like myself of 200 IQ or plus, we describe things such as straw man fallacies, where he's setting up an argument that doesn't exist to prove a point that's not really provable, okay? So what he's done is he's just spent all this time trying to prove that these came from different pizzas. That is not in dispute. That's mm-hmm. obvious. The point he's trying to prove that he has no evidence for is do employees scoop it up mm-hmm. and reuse it? Mm-hmm. There's zero evidence for that, and the evidence is plain that it all that it comes from different pop from pizza pies. We got someone here in the chat saying he worked there for two years, yeah, and he never would take a, a used slice. Thank He's you. in on it. Yeah, they paid. That's Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> That's a shill. Can you imagine like a a dude <laughs> making seven dollars an hour? They're like, yo. We're going to need you <laughs> to take used pizza. And also, yeah. if you tell anyone, we're going to kill your whole family. <laughs> you saw what Chuck E. Cheese looks like. Would you say no to that guy? Yeah. The head hey, of the, of hey, the cartel? You tell anyone about this, I'm going to break your fucking legs. Capiche? Huh. You know why they call me Chuck E. Cheese? Because the E stands for enemy number one, which is what I'm going to be if you snitch <laughs> on the rat. 
It's going to nope. chuck you out the window. I'm like, <laughs> nobody snitches on the rat, Kabish. I'm going to rape your mother. Wait. Serious. That escalated. <laughs> yeah, he's got to scare these fucks. <laughs> Jeez. I will rape your mother. Do you understand oh me, God. kid? I, w- I will put your mother's body into a pizza into a human sized pizza box. Kabish. <laughs> I'm glad that person chimed in though. Obviously. And also they're chains. They're all owned and operated by different owners, so some of them can be sleazier and dirtier than other ones, probably, you know. Um Eli, what are you typing? <laughs> oh if you wanna explain that <clears throat> uh... Oh that we have chat? Yeah, you guys can subscribe. Uh, you can become a member of the H3 podcast, just like when we were on Twitch. Right. And you can participate in our chat and use all of our wonderful badges and icons and logos. Um, honestly, I we had it open to everyone, and I think anyone who read the chat will agree that it was such ass. <laughs> this is not a money thing. <laughs> the chat open to the general public is such ass. Yeah. Ass. I need to pull down my pants to pass it. <laughs> so what we did is we in, we did a members only chat, and it's so much better. It's actually nice to hear from them. We get a beautiful anecdote like that one there yeah. from Chuck E. Cheese employee. So thank you guys. Um, here, let me show you this clip. Wait, where does that go? Wait, okay. So right. he he yeah. like he okay. sees eyes a picture of a pizza. Of where is it going? And so. We're not arguing. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you're miss. Like we accept the premise. Uh-huh. It's not that unbelievable. Yeah. See the cheese right here. You could see the glue. You could see that they threw It's like the opening cheese. a picture of like the right sky and being like, "Look at the hue. It's blue." <laughs> I'm ink dropping it. Look at it on the spectrum. <laughs> it's like we accept the premise. Look at those greasy little fucking slices. I feel like when I eat a slice of pizza, I immediately gain two pounds. Probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where's the other half of this pepperoni? Because oh, usually when you whoa. cut a pepperoni in half, the other half is right here. Where is it? I think that this was a chunk. Yes. Yeah. And then I think this was two pieces somebody didn't eat. Possibly. Because you can see it doesn't even fit the rest. Yeah, maybe draw a circle around that. Yeah. It's not that complicated. <laughs> I think they're they're goofing around. <laughs> I would say it's so over the top. Yeah, that no, they're I gotta give them the benefit of the doubt that it's tongue in cheek. Well, it's definitely tongue in cheek, and they're definitely goofing around and laughing. But I watched every sequence. But is it clear that it's no. tongue in cheek? Because no. you know, Alex Jones is also no. It's not. That's that. That's what was annoying me. And by the end, he starts making serious accusations and joking about like, "Ooh, maybe I should consult my lawyer." And I was like, "Wait, maybe you should." <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing if Shane got sued by Chuck E. Cheese? Hey, nobody snitches on the rat, Kabish. I don't think it could really get sued because he's not claiming anything to be fact, right? There was so. one scene where he made a joke about that, where he was like. I think it's a fact that it's, he's like, oh, no, I mean, it's my opinion. <laughs> it's funny, though. I enjoyed it. And I'm available, Shane, <laughs> if you need the, uh, the wet towel <laughs> segment. <laughs> if you want to bring your show down, make everybody skip forward. Hey, don't forget to put, pe- don't forget to put a pepperoni on my grave. You know that song, Don't Forget to Put Roses on My Grave. You dead want pepperoni? Uh, yeah, dead flowers. Yeah. Don't forget to put pepperoni on my grave. Here lies Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> passed away from heart attack 2018. 2019. Here's to a real one. <laughs> and I see you sitting there. And blacked out from a $5 pitcher. Your kid is lost in the ball pit. He's taking a dump in the ball pit. And there's a pedophile in the corner. 
<laughs> eating pizza all alone, watching your kid while you're blacked out. Uh, How's that chorus go? Don't forget to put pepperoni on my grave. What's Chuck next? E. Cheese has announced. Oh, Eli's trying to push me on. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese has announced that they will be putting a hit on Shane Dawson. <laughs> the mouse is not happy. There's a million pizza hit. Yeah, what's next? I wonder if Shane's got nightmares of this character coming after him. He fucking should. When I see you sitting there in your pizza upholstered chair. Wondering if my pepperonis were fresh. Eli, are you going to eat your placenta? <laughs> I wonder how many people know about it because this was news to me um, from someone we work with. Apparently, people eat their placenta <clears throat> because it's supposed to be good for you. That's the fucking afterbirth that comes surging out of your vagina after the baby. A bloody, discarded organ that the baby lived in while it develops. And there's people that f- eat it. It sounds awful. It's- and like... You can pay someone to dry it for you and make pills out beef of jerky, it. Beef jerky, bro. I swear yeah. to God, they be- make or beef jerky out of it. Apparently, some people even just take it as it is and cook it. Fava beans and uh, Chianti or whatever. Uh, to answer your question, no, I will not be eating my placenta. But you know who did when I was looking it up? Kim. Kim Kardashian I wish Ian did. was here to answer for that. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. Pseudoscience has gone too fucking far. Let's <laughs> not eat our placentas. It's so funny. I actually just Googled um, eat, <coughs> eat placenta just to see what comes up. And like so many articles came, came out, popped up that said you should not eat your placenta or please don't eat your placenta. Like there's no scientific reason to do it. There's no evidence of it. The anything. reason that people do it, I guess, is because some mammals eat their placenta. Yeah. Some. And then it turns and then the narrative turns into all <laughs> every time. And then there it says, well, other mammals do it, so it should be good for us. Yeah, other mammals eat their shit. I've seen Shredder <laughs> eat his shit. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Shredder licks his dick. I would if I could, but... <laughs> would you suck your own dick if you could? <laughs> Probably. In all honesty, at least, at least not like all the time, but on special occasions. Probably. So... I really don't get it. <clears throat> but what I saw Kim do, she, she put it in a pill, and it was like black. <laughs> I was like, yikes, man. People eating their placenta, people unvac- not vaccinating their kids. I mean, the world has gone fucking mad. Yep. We got smart people doing research. They got lab coats. They got, I mean, why are we listening to Facebook moms? Here, you want to eat this? Washington Post. Don't eat your placenta. Fake news. <laughs> people just believe whatever they want now. Fake news. <laughs> I'll eat my placenta. It's Here. like a <clears throat> Kim. Your amazing placenta that looks like literal. I love that she made it into a sponsored <laughs> ad too. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. It's up on my app, and also um, she sends you to whoever the <clears throat> company who made it for her. <coughs> Gotta monetize. <laughs> Kim, your amazing placenta. This is your discarded organ that has shit and blood and feces. We cleaned it out and dried it and pilled it for you. It's supposed to help. Uh, and it's nutritious. Um, uh, it's nutritious. That's why you should eat your placenta. Like other fucking food that isn't discarded organs that you shit out. <laughs> it's nutritious. Yeah, I'll eat a salad. <laughs> I don't need to eat my own fucking discarded organ. You could eat your tumor. You could have a cancerous tumor removed. God. Doesn't mean you should eat it. You could pill that. <laughs> they say that um, you should eat your discarded cancerous tumors because it's <laughs> nutritious. And um, 
I saw a animal do it once in a <laughs> nature documentary, so it has to be healthy. That's like an Alex Jones, like, placenta. That's like baby foreskin. Would you rather get a baby foreskin injection or eat placenta? You have to answer. I'll take the injection. Hmm. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> Maybe I'll look better. Yeah, at least get the benefit of that. That might actually work. I don't know. <laughs> it might. Eating placenta, I guarantee, doesn't. That is logical as... Eating placenta is about as logical of a conclusion as concluding that Chuck E. Cheese employees who make $7 an hour are scooping up used <laughs> slices and serving it back. Like, what is their like, vested interest in that? Why they make $7 anyone... an hour. It's like, why would all these people who work at Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> choose to participate in a crime for a minimum pay? I can see some sleazy, like, owner doing that, right? Yeah, but that's like, that's like that could happen at dude. any restaurant. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Poop Feast 420. Shout out to Poop Feast 420. I used to watch StarCraft when I was a wee lad. Um, I always think about Poop Feast 420 because I always thought it was the funniest name ever. That was a player? He, he, he was a guy that used to always submit questions to our, this guy, Artosis. Oh, sure, yeah. Who used to announce all the games. Yeah. And so... He used to always get in with really good questions that they would have to <laughs> ask him. But his name is Poop Feast 420. <laughs> and I just, I thought the image of a poop feast was so fantastic. It's stuck with me throughout the years. Poop feast with weed, too. Fucking going all out. Poop feast with weed. What? 420, you said. Oh, right? yeah, because he's yeah. high and he's extra hungry. Yeah. I gotta eat extra poop tonight. <laughs> I was thinking of going to the dispensary, Ela, after this. In California, I was talking to Ian the other day. I was like, <clears throat> Ian has this vape he was recommending me that's like uh, 10 part. Why should I not talk about that? Oh my god, no, I just looked up um, Ela's cooking a placenta. And was Show like, me pictures, off. throw it up. No, it's Is awful. that bad. It's disgusting. Well, it's basically cannibalism, it's, it looks, it's like socially accepted cannibalism. It looks like, <sighs> dude. <laughs> It's it's, it's so foul. <laughs> like these are the people that drink their own urine because they think <laughs> it's healthy. You pissed it out of your fucking body. Okay, your body is is saying I don't want this. This is trash. Yeah, this is garbage. You don't scoop that up and then put it back in. <laughs> they go. They go uh you know what will cure my cancer? Drinking my own urine. <laughs> like, all right. Steve Jobs was a victim to that. He said, he's like, yeah, I've got cancer, but you know what's going to cure it instead of conventional medicine? You know what I... Fruit. You know what? I used to think he was stupid for that, but after seeing oh. uh, my dad's experience with the options they give you, mm. it's, it's, it's just like <coughs> you... There's just no winning when you got cancer. Like, what what are the options they give you? Chemo, and then you well, it, it, you're most likely gonna get off worse after chemo. It's like such a barbaric. The thing is treatment. that his, he caught he had a very curable, as I understand it. I don't know. You have a. They always give you all this. You have seventy percent chance of recovery. Whatever, it doesn't mean anything. I just I. After seeing what my dad had to go through with chemo, he suffered so much, and then it was for nothing. Mm -hmm. So maybe you should just enjoy your last year instead of suffering. I don't know. Damn. <laughs> Take the fruit option. Maybe. At least you get some bomb smoothies out of it. I just feel like in like 10 years or something, no one will do chemo. I hope not. That shit is horrible. I. But right now there are no... Other options, really. I think that in your dad's case, it was very tragic because they, I think the doc, they have this weird thing, these doctors, they can't be real with you. No, they can't. They have to, by some policy, because uh, if they keep say, treating you. If they say anything 
to concrete, you could to afterwards, legal, right? like, yeah, mm. hold them accountable to that one statement. So they won't say anything. <laughs> so they're always going to be saying, get treated, get mm-hmm. treated. It's curable. I guess probably because there's been people that miraculously recovered. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, you told me to f- get off treatment. And now you tried to kill me. And I'm going to yeah. well, okay, whatever. You know, I'm not going to argue the merits of whatever outline cases. But in your dad's case, it was very tragic that he, before he passed, underwent super intense treatments that... They did, yeah. Like in his, um, just his last week, he went through this whole crazy, like, radiation on his brain. Yeah. And it was such a huge operation, and it was already so weak, and just to get him to go through it with so much effort... Mm -hmm. And then right after the radiation ended, he was way worse. And then, Mm -hmm. like... Three days later, pretty much it ended. So I don't know how much you can really. It's a tough one. Yeah. I guess there's different stages of cancer, though, right? So yeah, I'm sure there's so so many different kinds and different stages, and depends on the person too, their body. I can only hope that in the near future, people will look back on chemotherapy as like bloodletting god i hope so so much it's like, like that's so barbaric or yeah like leeches or something. It yeah, is. exactly it, just it really to... is you're killing your body in the hope that you kill the cancer first <clears throat> yeah it's, it's crazy. horrible the the kind of uh, things that you um effects that he was suffering afterwards from chemo it's like things you can't even imagine like he couldn't drink water for months he couldn't drink water after chemo mm-hmm how do you? How can you live without drinking water? Yeah, he used to drink only fruit juice because for some reason, water just wouldn't go down. There his was throat. something about just, water, and apparently that's something that happens to a lot of people after chemo. Just all kinds of crazy reactions like that that you can't even imagine. Yeah, it's it's wild, man. You gotta appreciate the normal times because when you're in that extreme of a situation. It's uh, it's impossible to explain how awful it is. Mm-hmm. You couldn't possibly understand it. No. And then in that moment, you're like, God, I just now realized how fucking awesome it was before this. Yeah. Cancer is a bitch. Anyway... Um, just because, I know, we used to make fun a lot of that, of the jobs. that whole Steve Jobs <clears throat> point of, like, he denied treatment to just eat fruits or whatever. But on, after seeing my dad's experience, <coughs> I kind of get it. I don't know what stage his cancer was. I don't, I'm not endorsing people refusing treatment. I don't endorse anything. When you got cancer, it's, it's all fucked. Yeah. You, you can't judge any decision. Amen, dude. You set me straight. I'm not going to say shit. You're right. You know what? You're right. <laughs> You're right. I shouldn't make fun of Steve Jobs for eating fruit. The guy died of cancer. He tried his best. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Hit me with the crickets, Elo. Um, Shit. So, in short, you are not going to eat your placenta. (laughs) No. (laughs) Okay. I I wonder if wives make their husbands. I'll stick to vitamins. I wonder if why salad, fruit. (laughs) I wonder if uh, there's wives that make their husband eat some placenta too. (laughs) I think. I I think people will do because um, <clears throat> try some of this good shit. I saw this like picture post of people saying like, "Here's me cooking the placenta," and it <laughs> looks like they're cooking it for both of them. Bro, if my <laughs> wife served me a placenta, I would be like, <laughs> "It's." I'd be like, "Damn, I wish I knew this before we had a kid." <laughs> <laughs> you should have told me. You got to tell me when we get married if you're going to be eating placenta or not. <laughs> Next time, if you lady guys listening, if you propose to your girl, say ask them the night before you propose. Be like, baby, what's your policy on eating placenta? <laughs> Just to make sure it checks out. 
because you do not want to marry a woman who's into eating placenta. <laughs> that's the that is the gateway drug to not vaccinating your kids. <laughs> anyway, we we're talking about Dan was telling me <clears throat> there's this like I'm not going to say the company because they're, they're not sponsored, but you can now in California. This blows my mind. When I was a kid to get weed, it was so shady. You had to talk with like actual criminals to get a <laughs> gram of weed. Yep. Now, you know, you get an app on your phone, and ten minutes later, they're going to bring you a high tech vape pen with ten CBD to one THC. Mm. You can get all the formulas and perfectly mm-hmm. like little tech vape pens and shit. And I'm I have I don't smoke weed at all. I haven't in a long, long time since I was in like high school. So. This all kind of just passed me by until right now. And I was talking to Dan. He's like, yeah, I just use this app on my phone and they delivered to me in 10 minutes. And I was just like, (laughs) what? How is that possible? (laughs) And so I was like, like, I want to try this. I haven't spoken to you in a long time. I want to try it. So then I'm downloading the app and I was like, wait, I can just go in a store and talk to someone and buy this. So crazy. And I go on. So weird. Yeah. It even feels weird to be talking about it, but it's a legal <laughs> drug. It's a legal drug. It's like j- drinking alcohol now, yeah. or smoking cigarettes. So I go on my phone. I say, weed store, Google Maps. There's three of them within like five <laughs> minutes drive. It's so crazy. So I think I'm going to stop at a weed store. I'm going to walk <laughs> and be like, hi, is this the weed store? I'm going to act <laughs> like a narc. <laughs> but it's worth going just for the the spectacle, especially like you said, growing up having to go through you know meeting some shady dude in an alleyway or whatever to be able to walk into like this pristine store and they it's just cool. got, like shelves and shelves. Of the I shit. love people that are passionate about weed, man. <laughs> they're so enthusiastic. It can be a bit much, but yo, they're like yo. So what mood are you in? You like you want to get you want to chill? You want to work? You want to play? Yeah. You want to sleep? You want to focus? It's like, dude, it all is the same. I feel like whenever <laughs> I tried it, there were only two <laughs> options. One, you don't feel anything. One, two, feeling too Paranoid, much, just out waiting of space. for it to be over. Yeah, That's all I've ever... <laughs> dude, and then whenever I say that, even though I've smoked weed like a hundred <laughs> times, they're like, no, you didn't try the right shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, are you in the mood to play? Are you energetic? <laughs> are you running? Are you flying? Do you want to be funny? Do you want to be sad? Do you want to be pensive? Do you want to be thoughtful? What do you feel like, dog? <laughs> they're gonna ask you that if you go into the store. They're, they're, all the people that work in those kind of places are totally like that. And every that, time I'm just like, There's no whatever, way, man. right? <laughs> I mean, I talk the, to a lot of stoners the and they say that it's real, but I f- I'm so skeptical that, that, that any of that <laughs> shit makes a difference. I think it's a placebo effect, personally. Like a what placenta th- effect? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you smoke that shit. Um, there's someone so in the chat it. that really wants to say that we should pickle the placenta. You <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> fuck you, whoever recommended that. Pickle my f- turds. But thank you for your subscription. But please stay subscribed, and every view matters. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go over there. Yo, Cat Stevens, rest in peace. He's fallen on hard times, but he has one of my favorite jokes about weed of all time. He goes, he goes, you walk into drug, oh god, I'm such a white guy ruining <laughs> comedy. I'm going to do my best here, guys. Everyone's on the edge of their seat. <laughs> All right, here we go. Y'all ready? You walk, you, when you, you walk into a store, they go, they always make it sound like, cra- like as crazy as possible. They go, this one's called death. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, you just By smoke the way, it I'm and die? Sure. Pretty because sure that was Cat Williams. Cat Williams. Cat Who's Cat Stevens? Cat Stevens? <laughs> He's a singer songwriter. Oh, yeah, that's the guy who went. Yeah, sorry. So, I fucked that up from the get go. <laughs> Cat Williams, the the um the funny little black gentleman with the straight hair. Why does it sound weird when you say little? Well, he's short. It's part of his bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he would talk about it all. The time. He called himself a black leprechaun, I believe. <laughs> Um, he goes, you just, you walk in and smoke it and die? <laughs> He's like, no, not death. Death. <laughs> you smoke this, sh- you can't hear shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, I got shit to do today. But that's how I feel like weed is. 
It <laughs> fucks up my whole day. It fucks up my yeah. whole week. Because, like, that day, I'm fucked up. And then the next day, I'm, like, a little washed out yeah. still. And I'm, like, in my head, like, oh, I'm fucked up, so. <laughs> I'll never be the same. I'll never be the same. <laughs> How many times has that thought occurred to me while I, I'll never be the same again. I can't believe I smoked weed again. And here I am, about to go. But you know why I'm interested? Because of this chill one Dan told me about. It's called Chill. It's got 10 parts CBD to Let's one see. part THC. The CBD stuff, it, it's definitely a different experience. It doesn't get you high as fuck, like normal weed or, or the oils and all that. Are you shaking your leg? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why is my mic vibrating? <laughs> Did I smoke already? <laughs> um, yo, are you in a mood to game? You want to experience? You want heightened pleasure? What do you feel like? You hungry? You not hungry? You happy? <laughs> yo, what we got here? Hey, it's your boy, <laughs> Mr. Weed. <laughs> you know what time it is. <laughs> hey, I got the weed you gonna smoke. <laughs> this one gonna make you happy. This one gonna make you sad. <laughs> this one gonna make you sleepy. Boy, 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 boy. This one gonna make you mad. Oh, it's a very musical I'm the episode. Mead, weed man. <laughs> I got the weed for whatever you want. Ha! You know what time it is. <laughs> we smoke the weed when we happy. And then we smoke the weed when we not. Yeah, man. <laughs> we smoke the weed when we out to space. <laughs> we smoke the weed when we wake up in And we smoke the weed when we put the kid to bed We hot box the kid's room and smoke the weed The kid, they say the weed is good for the kid My wife was pregnant and she smoked the weed this is a bomb. And my kid come out and he say, yeah, I want to smoke the weed bar. I smoke the weed I blow the weed in my child's face. He cry and cough, and I smoke the weed. And then I smoke the weed. Hey! Wow. Yes, 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 thank you. That was royalty free, I trust. <laughs> yes, it was. Thank you, Zach. That was pretty good how you had that queued up. That was cool. You, you basically, Zach, that was great. What you did is you set me up for a slam dunk. <laughs> You all ooped me off the back door, and I. That was a team I drove it. That's home. right. That was a great thing. Was that who did that? Was that Dan or Zach? I want to. That, that was a Zach. Okay, that, good job. Full props Zach. to Zach on that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Today is episode <coughs> one hundred and four, the musical. Hundred and four, smoke the weed, man. Is your dick soft? Then you better smoke the weed. You kind of like it. You get this vibe like a creepy clown. What? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I don't know how I like it. It's funny. <coughs> oh, you like it? Yeah. Because creepy clown doesn't sound good. When your dick <laughs> soft, you bad to smoke the weed. If your dick too hard, you bad to smoke the weed. If you're hungry, then you bad to smoke the weed. If you're dying, you better smoke it's like, the what weed. Is this yeah, there? <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, it's Tuesday, brother. Are you smoking the weed? <laughs> Hit me with that music because it just sounds racist without the music. Yeah, with that. Hit me, brother, with the music. <laughs> All right. What is today? Friday afternoon, brother. <laughs> you know what time it is. <laughs> yes, let's smoke the weed, brother. Hey, Friday afternoon, we're going to smoke the weed. Hey, brother. Saturday afternoon, we're going to smoke the weed. We put pulling up weeds, we're gonna smoke the weed. I'm doing gardening, we're gonna smoke the weed. My mama comes over, gonna smoke the weed. My mama come over, says I'm dying. My mama, she says I need something. Then I says, mama, smoke the weed. I kicked her out my house, it was time to smoke the weed. <laughs> Did you ever boof the weed? That's when you boof the weed. You inhale a joint through the anus. The membranes of the colon are absorbed the weed. It's more potent, man, and you get more bang for your money. Do you put the <laughs> and you smoke the weed? Hey, 
brother. It's Friday afternoon. Are you sparked up? I'm headed down to my local weed shop, brother. I walk into the weed shop and the brother on the other aisle say, You gonna smoke the weed? I say, Yes, brother. We smoke the weed. He says, Are you sleepy? You're hungry? You're hungry? You wanna fight it? You wanna bet it, your buddy? I said, Yes, brother. Damn. Smoke the weed. <laughs> you wanna dream? Smoke the weed. You wanna sleep? Smoke the weed. Do you want to? You want to smoke the weed? <laughs> smoke the weed. <laughs> right, Eva, save us from this. Sing right. it with me, brother. Hit him. Hit him. There you go. Can you hear it? <laughs> you hating on a brother because... Ela, you hating. Ela. <laughs> this girl over here... No, no. Can't do it without the music. <clears throat> this girl hating on a Jamaican brother... <laughs> you smoke I I smoke the weed and she hating on me. I need more hating sounds, you know? Like I can't express You can't enough. smoke the weed because you're pregnant, right? Yeah, I don't think so. I can't do anything. Do you want I rarely to... drink coffee? Yeah, that's true. So I'm excited to go to the dispensary and make and then regret it deeply. I'm going to be home being like, smoke the weed, smoke the weed. And then I'm going to hit it and be like, oh, God, I'm never going to be the same again. I can't believe I'm here again. I'm smoking weed again. We'll see what happens. But uh, this, you if you get it? the CBD stuff, it, it really is a, it's kind of a different beast. <laughs> mm. This podcast is longer than Shane Dawson videos. Yeah, it's a podcast. <laughs> it's not a video. It's a long form content. <laughs> It's a podcast. <laughs> Everybody who clicks this knows that it's just some dumb shit. Hello? Remember how we met Speedweed? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> when we did Kill Tony, I yeah. met this guy named Speedweed. <laughs> and he owns, I uh, guess, was that his name? No. Uh, no, but that's like... Yeah, I don't, want, I'm not, I don't want to endorse these products. Yeah. I, I don't know anything about this website. I don't recommend yeah. it. I'm not sponsored by them. <laughs> Um, it was just funny though. To meet he someone. was trying to get in. He wanted me to promote it, and I was like, I don't know, because I, I, there, I do, I do have a line of things that I don't like to promote on this show. Like Jewel has approached us, mm. and I was like, I don't want to promote that. Yeah, you know, you can do it on your own. We can. Uh... <clears throat> There's enough other things to promote. There's plenty of other stuff, you know. What are some pe some ones we've rejected? Should we not say? I feel like it's interesting. Um, we rejected um, the Alpha Brain. <laughs> Alpha Brain was very aggressive. Yeah. But I can't. I was like, I tried that shit for two months. Dan, we straight guinea pig because <laughs> I'll tell you, I wanted to on on so much because they have so much money and they wanted it so bad. So I was like, oh. I was like, is there any way that we can do it? So I was like, Dan, can you take this shit for like a month and tell me if you feel anything? I took it religiously for two months. <laughs> and, uh, you know, my ex experience may vary, but I will say I didn't feel shit. Mm -hmm. But I can on one hand make fun of people that eat their placenta and then on the other hand sell fucking <laughs> alpha brain. You know, <laughs> it's just not. It ain't right. Um, thank you for being the guinea pig, though, Dan. You, we do appreciate that. <laughs> Anytime. Whatever you got. What else do we reject? Sports betting we rejected? Um, Gambling. Loans. Loans. That was one. Yeah, p uh, loans. I was like, I just don't want to. I don't want to be. I don't want to be. No. That's too. Uh, I don't want to be involved in that. <laughs> it's so, like, <clears throat> not. It was a reputable company, apparently. They're like internet loans. Okay. Yeah, but it's just like. I but don't I, know. yeah, loans just are such an ugly mess. Put a commercial on TV. Yeah, guys, you can get. Uh, a, it, I almost com see it like <coughs> a, uh, commercials for the army too. So, like. I don't believe. Yeah. It's so weird for me to see a commercial to the army. 
Yeah, it's not always it's so... It's just so I, weird. I agree. There's huge billboards when you work drive around, like, mm-hmm. join the army today. I'm like, whoa. The army needs advertisements to get people. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Um, what were we talking about? The loans. They're like, the copy was like, um, no credit required. <laughs> I was like, yeah. We'll just. Yeah, I've been like, I was sign. like, guys, I should do like this. Guys, head on over to fucking getmeindebt.com. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no credit was required. And also, when you're done, head on over to Teddy Fresh. We've got a new dropout. <laughs> <laughs> now that you have money. <laughs> was there something with like sex toys or something else? Oh, yeah, Fleshlight, oh, yeah. I think. <laughs> Fleshlight. <laughs> I have no problem with flesh. Was it Fleshlight, Dan? They wanted to send us Fleshlights. I don't think they wanted to advertise. <laughs> I think it was a sex toy website, and I just thought it was too yeah. risque. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think I, w- I think I would I would take a Fleshlight sponsorship, but I just don't know if YouTube... It's a, yeah, it's a little hard with YouTube, like... I Dude, I'm in full support of Fleshlights. <laughs> but it won't be fr- family-friendly, like, immediately, that's right? What I, that's what I was concerned about. I think dudes should get flashlights and fuck the shit out of them. Because <laughs> girls have all these crazy sex toys, and that's fine. It's cute, even. You've seen these girls that girls have? They have, like, fucking, like... <laughs> they look like nuclear reactors. Some of these vibrators. <laughs> you know? Oh, God forbid I get a flashlight with a fucking... That I put my dick in. Dude. The problem with dudes' sex it toys... It sounds so yeah. uncool. I know. Flashlight. <laughs> I know. It's the pro- real. <clears throat> the problem with dude sex toys is that you jizz. And it makes such a mess. Right. It's so gross. So if you're not handling that aspect, like, um, in a logical way, it can get real nasty. Get a toolbox. Get a tool. Fuck a toolbox. Put your dick in a toolbox. <laughs> now they started making, like, <laughs> fleshlights that have, like, that does everything for you. <laughs> This flashlight will suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you still jizz in it, so it's kind of a tough workaround. We're gonna need a flashlight that like vacuums the jizz up. But then you still ha- the problem is you still have to do something with it, <laughs> unless it goes to like a sewer system. I guess people are saying in the chat that a lot of people um, do the flashlight ads. Oh, for real on YouTube. I don't know if I I'll do flashlight. I'm I fully support them. I do. I swear to God. I'll leave. I'll use one and endorse it. <laughs> I don't care. I really don't care. I think guys should put their dicks in more things because girls get all the fun. Well, um, I'll put maybe a note we out. Can ask Dan, you let's. Yeah, Dan, let's put a note out to uh, <laughs> our agency that we want to work with flashlight. <laughs> I'm serious. All right. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Like, why is it a flashlight? Right, because it's like conspicuous. Wasn't the whole thing that you could hide it? As yeah, a flashlight. But so it, it looks what so it big. Who are you fooling? It's exactly. a flashlight from like 1950. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not fooling anyone. A ladder. <laughs> they have butthole flashlights, and then they have like flashlights that are modeled after certain people's buttholes. Oh, oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they, they have a whole like line celebrity, of, like porn star. Line. <laughs> yeah, I love that That's they get funny. celebrity butthole flashlights. <laughs> Do they have to take a mold? Yes, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> it's a car. It's a carbon copy. I guess it sounds like it's fine because they're saying that even Joe Rogan did it and Bobby Lee. For real? And at least according to the dude, chat. we would be the best partner for flat. I will sell <laughs> so many flashlights. I'll fuck one and talk about it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Um, don't buy them yet, though. If you're listening, wait. Seriously, yeah, wait don't go. Brand. Don't go buy them yet. Hold out. This is no nut. We're on no nut until we get that flashlight <laughs> endorsement. So don't seriously go buy those yet. But um, the problem with a dude, I think that it's hard to beat the old-fashioned way with it as a guy, mm-hmm. right? Because it's like it's a lot of hubbub. 
for a guy, it's just like, ugh, <laughs> fuck, all right, let's go. <laughs> but with girls, you need, like, a nuclear reactor and, like, <laughs> you need, like, a nuclear-powered submarine. <laughs> you need, like, advanced AI to be, like, crunch the numbers on how to give you an orgasm. Not you, specifically. I'm just saying women. Hi! The dildo has AI. Hi, my name's Alfred. I'll be crunching the numbers today on your orgasm. <laughs> Tell me, what what kind of mood are you in? I'll be taking your pulse to calculate your stress levels, and I'll be putting a probe up your vagina to, to take a temperature test and to t- see what your uh, wall uh, diameter is today. Just sit back and relax, and I'll do all the work. Hi, how you feeling? You doing good? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, I'll keep going. Increasing temperature to 82 degrees. I, hi, this is your dildo speaking. <laughs> I could sense that... Um, I could sense that your mood has dipped a little bit. Is something on your mind? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something's on my mind. My boyfriend, he just he didn't call me in a couple of weeks. Oh... Oh, that's you deserve better than that. <laughs> you deserve so, better than that. <laughs> um. <laughs> that's a shame. You're a beautiful princess warrior. <laughs> Can we talk about ja Rule? You deserve better than that. <laughs> Dudes, be like. <laughs> All right, where was I? Um. <coughs> yes, Ela. Can we talk about Ja Rule? Yeah, Ja Rule is the best. He, ja Rule, I saw this last night while I was in bed, and I was like, oh, God, I got to talk about this. Ja Rule hasn't ruled out Fire Festival 2.0. <laughs> Fucking guy. What? <laughs> Watch this. You're not learning your lesson. <laughs> Hey, I wonder, have you seen either of those documentaries out? I haven't watched them yet. You haven't yeah, seen right. Them? Really? You get around to... Maybe. They're very his popular. Ho- his hood's down. He's like, fuck. You record. probably you know? should watch They're it. Very popular. They're very popular. They're very popular. They're very popular. Maybe you will. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Yeah. Hey, dude, like, if I... Was... I lived it, man. I ain't got to watch <laughs> it. <laughs> Can you laugh about it now? Now that it's all said and done? I mean, it's not a... It's not a... It's not funny to me, man. You yeah. Know, it's heartbreaking to me. Right. Okay, it that's was, good. It was... It was something that, you know, I really, really wanted to be special and amazing. Yeah. And it just didn't... You know, it just didn't... It didn't turn out that way. But, you know... In the midst of chaos, there's opportunity. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I, I'm working on a lot of new things, you know, and, you know, I, I got my new platform. I yeah, I saw that. Branded and rebuilt, and it's an Bro. amazing platform. No. For no. You get no more platforms, Is it like, Fire? Is like, is it like that app? It's, it's, it is kind of similar to what the app was, but Bro, you are you saying the app was very... It was separate from the festival. The festival. Yeah, different teams working on the app, then the festival, and the whole or the whole nine. Man, if if I was you, why wouldn't you try to do Fire Fest again? Just because the publicity, <laughs> like it's almost the most famous festival, more famous than say Coachella, because everyone is, hears about it. It is the most iconic festival that never iconic. Was. Totally. So you could I have plans to create the iconic music fest, but you ain't hear from me. Oh <laughs> damn! Can you believe that? Oh yeah, yeah. No. Some people never quit, man. Or take responsibility. There's a lot of smart people on this call. It wasn't fraud. It was just false advertising. <laughs> Love it. Um How you doing today, Ella? <laughs> <laughs> Temperature set to 85 degrees. Sounds like a fucking chainsaw, dude. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Would you like me to cook dinner for you after this?
Um, what is this? I just have a note that says he sounds like Kermit the Frog in the beginning. Oh, it's Lance. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lance Stewart. I never watched this. He did a breakup video with his girlfriend. I guess he was trying, he saw the views that Liza and yeah. David got. That video has like 50 million. So they're like, dude, we should make a breakup video, except they missed the memo that nobody <laughs> cares about them. That feels bad to say, but sorry. I mean, not as much people. I don't know why his girl. Why is his girl sitting there like a candy wrapper? She looks like a smidge of mustard. She looks like a twinkie. What is that candy? Restrist. Right, a restrist wrapper. <laughs> What's in the name? The grandpa's. I know what you mean. It's wrapped in the gold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> looking there like a. She's look sitting there looking like a n piece of nutmeg. From that candy. Where do you find this outfit? Dude, she looks and like why a, in this collar? She like, looks like a banana slug. Out of all the colors possible. I'd like to put her on a hot dog and eat her. You know? It's she she's out there looking like a Tony Award. <laughs> she looks like a soprano wife. She does. Tony! <laughs> she's got the whole thing. What does she think she is, Prince? Princess. Who dresses like that? I can't get over her outfit. I don't know where do you even buy that. Where does it exist? Guido, Guido Central. I don't know what Guido means. I think it's Italian. <laughs> Trash.org. She's looking like... <laughs> um... She's looking very yellow, <laughs> but any at any rate, this video's. I mean, it's sad, I guess, because they broke up or whatever. But I mean, whatever. What can I say? I can't feel that bad. And they put on the camera. They recorded it. They wanted the views. It wasn't that necessary. Also, Lance sounds like Kermit the Frog. Listen. Mm -mm, it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't sound like that. They just everyone <laughs> had a problem with it because it just looks like they're like shitty acting. <clears throat> well, they fake everything, so yeah. why wouldn't they fake this? Mm -mm, it's not easy, Miss Piggy. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy, Miss Piggy. Oh, Kirby. Easy. She looks like Miss Piggy. No, Kirby. <laughs> mm -mm, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do it. <sighs> Alright, guys. I uh, found this, like, sp unwatchable. Yeah. I can't I, I can't speak. We are no longer together. Me and Lizzie have This is the worst episode of Muppet Babies I've ever seen. Relationship really isn't working the best. It's a mutual agreement. Yo, when did the Muppets turn into this weird drama? I thought Kermit and Peggy were supposed to be funny. Mm -hmm. It's I, not easy. I love the It's not easy. I love the few videos after he had to make a video saying like the breakup is not fake. Yeah. <laughs> everyone cuz I don't know, what is this? Why are you guys acting? They just, just, they, they, they monetize everything, you know. The top comment was the ghost made them do it. Oh, <laughs> funny. Um, look at her, man. Hmm. She looks like, a. Uh, she belongs on, like, the solar panel of a satellite. You know, they've got, like, gold foil. <laughs> she looks, she's out there looking like a solar sail. I, it's, I can't get over this outfit. It's so... It's not easy! <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> should we watch, like, a few more yeah, seconds? Yeah, yeah, we should. We, we both... We've tried. Yeah, so we what's interesting, tried. they lined the shot up no, really, like, know, right? I so they, they put some effort into lining the shot up because it's very symmetri symmetrical. It's on a tripod. The yeah. chairs are set There's lots of cuts, too. And at one point, the camera angle changes, which means that they got up, turned off the mm -hmm. camera, moved the camera for some yeah. reason. I think what happened is that they probably already, and that's a complete guess, I don't follow his channel, but mm. I think he, they probably broke up already a while ago, and they already, like, hate each other. But then they were like, mm. wait, but we didn't squeeze the views of a breakup video. Yeah. Well, we look gotta... at this. Look at this David Dobrik, 50 million. 
That was the best gift Liza gave David in their, their divorce. Their video was real, uh, Liza and. The, well, yeah, they're yes. This is just the complete opposite of what that video. Well, also was. he's a guy who's known for faking shit to both of them. So, but anyway, she's out there looking like a, like a Hershey's Kiss rapper. With the nut in the middle. <laughs> it's not easy. I know this question is going to be asked a million times. Like, why? Why? What's the specific reason as to you guys separating? There's not a specific reason. There's not reason. a specific reason. It's more so a buildup of things over time. Mm -hmm. Going back a little it's bit. It's not like, easy. The last, like, six months, we've been bickering over tiny things that... You know, every couple bickers and they argue about about things. She's like an Italian... It, it, she's like a... She's like a, an Italian mom. It's like she's in an audition where she needs to cry. Mm. She's crying. She's auditioning for Italian mom. <laughs> I don't understand that Italian thing. Who the f... I, what do I know? But God, golly. It's not like flattering either. She's really fit. Like, she's really health conscious. She, mm -hmm. she like, yeah, puts no, a lot of work into her body. It's not flattering. <laughs> she looks like an astronaut. Looks like she could pee in that and be fine. Looks like she could take a dump in that and be like, it's just a placenta, baby. I'll eat that later. <laughs> I'll eat that for much. lunch. It is unhealthy, and I don't, I don't And it's it not easy! easy. It's for us. <laughs> I do want to know that although me and Lizzie are breaking up, we both still very much care about each other. We Who cares? Earlier. We had like a two hour conversation. Just express. Sorry. Look at this. But yes, I've never kissed a girl before you, so you're my first relationship, my first love, my first kiss. So this is it's very hard to swallow. Simply, things aren't working for us, and it's understandable, you know. <laughs> I feel like this happens a lot in people's lives, especially with looks their, like a costume. their very first love. Sometimes she looks like a Michael Jackson out. extra dancer. <laughs> is this the MTV Music Awards extras, <laughs> or is this a YouTube video? Is that a one-piece or a two-piece? I have no idea. You know she wore that stealing the show. She stole all the... I cannot talk about anything but her outfit. <laughs> right? Yeah. You know that was a conscious effort. She's like, I'm going to put on the most insane thing <laughs> I can imagine. She probably went shopping for this occasion. It was like, yo, hit me with that mustard. <laughs> hit me with that Italian mustard, G. <laughs> it's not easy. It yeah. And that's okay. It's okay. It is okay. The, the, it's okay. The best thing about this, though, anyway, is... it's a train wreck. <laughs> I, I cherish that soundbite, though, Zach. Let's keep using that. <laughs> it's not easy. Yeah. Covered a lot of ground here. It just here. feels so. <laughs> Over two it hours. It feels so much like they're acting. I just can't. <clears throat> um, we got the blackface thing. We can save this though. I don't know that Bobby will want to discuss that. <laughs> Maybe he will though. He is Maybe. famously half black or white. He's did, half and half. Did you know that he's biracial? Yes. I did know that. <laughs> Who can relate? Uh, <laughs> um, I wonder if he would actually. I wonder if we should save that. Yeah, we can save it because there's this huge controversy about blackface. Like Gucci did a blackface thing, and then it's kind Prada of like did a timely thing, now. Though. Yeah, and then Balenciaga did a blackface thing, and everyone's like, "What is going on?" Balenciaga too. Oh no, sorry. No. Oh no, that's the retro commercial. Sorry, yeah. Balenciaga. Don't sue me. <laughs> that was an unfactual. Was the Let other me one. correct the record. Oh, and then Katy Perry did a blackface shoe. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I recant my statement about Balenciaga. But, um, the most shocking one is that Gucci sweater. I guess, I guess we should just talk about we it. We should just talk about it. And so, you want to put up yeah, the I'll picture? Up. Yeah. They released the sweater during Black History <coughs> Month, which is just so weird. I guess and, for, for listeners, it's. A, such a bizarre garment. It's a, I guess it's a super turtleneck that goes all the way up under the eyes, uh, black, and then under, there's a big mouth hole 
with big red lips around it. So and it looks like the sweater is black. So yeah. it's black and red. I mean, it's definitely reminiscent of like old timey blackface. And what's interesting is that it didn't come in another colorway. <laughs> it's not like there was also a pink one with white. Dude, who the fuck? It was only this? the black and red. That's what I was wondering. I saw they made a statement. They're like, we took it off all of the shelves. I was like, all one shelf. <laughs> nobody, nobody bought this, right? Who would buy that? Who? Besides the whole blackface thing, who the fuck yeah. would buy that? I think that is the biggest problem with it. It's just that it's, first of all, so ugly. <laughs> yeah, let's start there. I mean... I mean, I, I grapple with this because there's no way they did that on purpose. I would hope not. I hope so. I mean, it's beyond reason but to conclude. what is this? I mean, there's no way they'd be like, you know, it would be yeah, hot I can't black imagine. face turtleneck. Yeah, I can't imagine. So then I saw some people on Twitter saying, so they don't believe that they did it on purpose, but what it shows is... What a lack of diversity right. they have. Because they're like, well, if there was one black person there, they would have told you this was a bad idea. Wonder it's if such a big company. Do they really not? be black people there. I don't, I don't know, know, though. If not, I guess that is a problem. Yeah. Definitely is a problem. Like, no one at the process of releasing this... It's an brought Italian up, company. Maybe we shouldn't. It's an Italian company, but they're yeah, global. But they're huge. And they have huge PR teams. Yeah. It's Gucci. Come on. Anyway, I don't know. It's pretty wild. I was just like, whoa. That's crazy. How do and I get then, my hands on that? And then the fact that there were other companies releasing kind of like the same style. Here, let me open the Prada dolls. So then Prada around the same time started coming out with these dolls that have the same kind of blackface vibe. <laughs> <clears throat> like, you know, the big red lips and the dark black skin, like here. She's like, all of a sudden, everyone's like, you know what's super in? You know what's mm -hmm. super hot? Blackface is so in right now. We were saying there's this uh, trend forecasting services that this companies sign up for and they help them like predict what's going to be in fashion next year so i had this thought maybe someone goofed all these companies but like they're like hey, we got the fat they're like we're only going to tell gucci and prada about this so this is some top shit so don't tell anyone okay so if you guys want to know what's going to be the hottest trend in q1 2019 blackface what oh hear me out Blackface, <laughs> big red lips and black skin. Have you seen those uh, old racist cartoons from the nineteen fifties? <laughs> They're like, yeah. What about that? A super racist. They're like, no, it's in. <laughs> it's in now. Blackface. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Here, here's a guy wearing it. Is that a separate piece? I thought it was one piece. Huh. Oh, well, hold on. Is it one piece? Does it matter? No, it's does, one piece. Does it it's change? A does it change the message if it's one piece? I haven't seen this. I don't know. It's this one. <coughs> huh? I'm not sure what this one is, but it's definitely a, a it, one piece. Oh, then here's Carrie, Katie's Perry again. The real crime here is just what the f is that? Look at the eyes on this one. It's straight up, like. Do you want to look like you've got a deformed face on your foot? Imagine going in public wearing that, like. What the fuck are you it. thinking? Hi, I'm Katy Perry, famous songwriter and performer. I got a new line of shoes out. It looks like there's a <laughs> deformed face on your foot. I really think you guys will love it. It's got big red lips and a black face, reminiscent of 1950s cartoons on top of it. It's a real showstopper. And have you ever wanted to look at your own feet? And be spit and be totally p have a spook attack. Be like, what the <laughs> fuck is on my own feet? Because it's so hideous and shocking. Go to kittyperry.com slash ass shoe. Pick up a pair of <laughs> ass shoes today. <laughs> and when you're done, you got to smoke the weed. <laughs> we need a shoe. 
She has an ass on it with a fart coming out of it. She's like brown. And that giant ass with shit coming out of the asshole. And charge five hundred dollars for it and be like, yo, this is and then be like, yo, you know it's in right yo, we got the trend forecast. You know it's in right now? Poop coming out of a butthole. <laughs> we just got the trend forecast. Uh two twenty twenty Q one. Poop coming out of a butthole is gonna be so hot. I like that. <laughs> Gucci, uh, we just got word that Gucci's making a sweater embroidery with an asshole with poop coming out of it. I like that. So in right now. Katy Perry's like, fuck, I better go make some shit shoes. I gotta make a shoe with that looks like an asshole with poop coming out of it. So in. Prada's like, that's so 2019. We already <laughs> get poop coming out of the ass. <laughs> Dude, poop coming out of the ass is so 2019. We're covering a lot of ground here, folks. Um, did we talk about everything? I got an ASMR barber in India. That's a whole thing. The new emojis are coming out <laughs> soon. Oh, I do want to talk about the fan submission here. Shout out to... Um, yeah. <coughs> Dan, why don't you read the email? Because you spoke to the guy. I can't. I'm switching. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, so there's a guy. This toy. This I think his name is uh, Dano Brown. Dano. Dano Bano Toys. Dano Bana. Um, D A N O B A N A N O. Dano Bano. So this guy. <clears throat> Can you get a good shot of that? Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. So he takes pieces of other toys and then repurposes them and repaints them to make new toys. And he makes the packaging and everything custom. Pull it back, just a hair, because you're out of focus. Yeah, there you go. That's, That's good. good. Mm -hmm. So he made a Vape Nation toy, and it looks amazing. <laughs> it's so sick. And at first I was like, yo, can we, cool. like, can we make like a limited run of these? And he was like, no, because... I actually salvaged these pieces from yeah. collectibles. Dan, you spoke to him. He said, "You remember the details of of uh, you have it in the oh I have the I have it yeah I think the emails in there. <clears throat> Let's see. He says, "So that is from an M MLB player head, the starting lineup toys with the bill to his cap cut off and transformed into the do rag. <laughs> the hanging part of the rag is a piece of Princess Leia skirt thing. The glasses I made." Are out of a twisty tie that came off my loaf of bread. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, I see that. It's like the thing in the middle. Wow, <laughs> that is awesome. So resourceful. The arm came from a Bruce Willis from Pulp Fiction figure. <laughs> the rest of the body came from an old Dr. Zarkov from Flash Gordon figure with the feet sanded into flip flops and socks. <laughs> Dude, come on. <clears throat> Obviously, everything gets hand-painted afterwards. It's just a weird hobby I've had that people seem to suddenly get a kick out of. Can't reveal the secret on the vape cloud. Sorry. I love the vape cloud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the best part. So, uh, big shout-out to Dano... Dano Banano. His, uh, his Instagram is, is actually Dano, D-A-N-O, underscore brown. Yeah. So, he's so if you guys want to go check out... He's a lot of yeah, really cool shit on there. At Dano underscore Brown. He makes amazing stuff. This is, I'm going to cherish this. Thank you for making yeah, this. It's so amazing. freaking cool. <laughs> so, this is awesome. And this will remain sealed. Yeah, of course. Can you imagine opening this? We're going to have a kid. Uh, oh, God, don't. Theodore's going to open this or something. <laughs> I'll be like, no, you just, <laughs> the value on this just went down. <laughs> it's so pristine, too. I almost want to, like, frame keep it wrapped it. up. <laughs> yeah, I almost want to frame it. It is kind of that good. Um, so Dano, Dano Banano at Dan Dano, Dano Brown underscore Brown. So cool, guys! If you have anything else incredible to report, please submit them at any time mm -hmm. to podcast at h three h three productions dot com. As we wrap this up, I want to say thank you to Ja Rule. I want to say thank you to the people who have committed their life to understanding all the nuances of weed and the guy who I'm about to go meet to get the advice that's going to, you know, 
make me have an awful night. <laughs> I'm too high. I'm too high. I want to thank my beautiful pregnant wife, Hila, who you. always has back pain. <laughs> yes. She bears that load for. I have both been. Of us. I've been feeling totally fine, but the only thing is I started to have this back pain. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm excited. Can't wait to meet that little shrimp. <laughs> little champ. Um, <clears throat> thank you to Dan, our wonderful producer, who is switching and jamming and jiving back there. With him is Zach, the sound guy. Who did a great job today, by the way, setting me up. He set me up for all kinds of slam dunks. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Ian is not here. We wish him well. He's undergoing some kind of experimental procedures that we can't talk about, but hopefully we'll be able to someday soon. I'm not going to pressure him. Um, he didn't want to tell me because he was afraid I would talk about it on the air, so I promise not to do that. Until he's ready. But it's so good. Oh my god. Like good <laughs> to talk about, but awful for him. Um, god bless him. <laughs> Won't mention what it was. Uh, Friday. And thank you, of course, to everybody for tuning in to this Friday morning H3 podcast experience. We had a great time with you. You know, uh, I'm just being me. I'm just being real. Sometimes, what did Garth say? Um, just being raw like this. Raw. Sometimes I'm real. Sometimes I'm raw. Sometimes I'm just cool. Because <laughs> that's just the way I am. Or raw. I don't know. Uh, that is just the way I am. Okay. Uh, next week we've got Logic. Bobby. Logic. The performer known as fine. Logic. Hip hop sensation. Boy Wonder. Sweet man, gentleman, s scholar, fascinating, fascinating guy. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and that'll be Thursday. Thursday. Instead of mm -hmm. the usual Friday. If, if you have questions, please submit them on the subreddit. We're going to put a thread up. Right after the show today. Yep. And with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And um, that's really... And just... Say what up to Ja Rule on Twitter because we will need Fire Festival 2.0 updates. Also, I want to know about his new app. I want in on whatever he's doing. Take my money, Ja Rule. You want to invest? Yeah, I want to invest. <laughs> I want to be an investor. I want to be on the ground floor, whatever Ja Rule's working on. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, shout out to all the parents that are blackout drunk at Chuck E. Cheese right now. <laughs> That's going to be us in a few years. Yeah. There you go. So throw one to a stranger at Chuck E. Cheese for me. Don't, don't, don't. And uh, happy Valentine's to all the oh, yeah. people. Yeah, to all, to all my dogs out there who are putting Those their dicks in flashlights. <laughs> and to all my girls with uh, AI nuclear <laughs> fusions doing work on their vaginas. Shout out. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Good evening. How are you today? <laughs> <laughs> It's like a Black Mirror episode. <laughs> it is. <laughs> right, we're almost in the end. All right, All that's right. about it. We'll see you guys have next week. Have a great weekend. Hopefully I'll have a new video for you guys next week. I was so sick. I was unable to do anything. It yeah. felt like sh ass, but next week. You've been saying ass a lot. What can I do? It's not that vulgar. It's like a good middle mm -hmm. ground. I see. It feels like I don't want to drop an F-bomb or something. Mm -hmm. Ass. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.